Hello everybody, welcome to the Avery Project. Hopefully you're all having a great morning, midday, whatever it might be for you. So what am I doing today? Well, we're on no man's land. I got stuff that I got to get done. We got olives that we got planted the last time we were here. The other day we took took the day to go check out that new Zalanka map real quick. That was pretty nice. Pretty cool. Um, I'm going to get a couple hours in today of this. I kind of want to try to harvest my, um, olives. want to give that a try. And I got a little bit more that I want, you know, a bit, little bit other things that I want to do. So, we're going to try to get a couple hours of this in today. Have some fun, chill, relax, kick back, you know. You guys want to chit-chat, chit-chat, you know, talk away. That's what we're here for. <sighs> Grab this. Everybody's probably working or in school right now, right? It's that type of time of day.
All right. <sighs> Let's see what we got going on, you guys. It's a lot of sunflowers planted. Lots of sunflower. <whistles> Buddy. Then we got that little plot of olives right here. That's a cost a lot of money guys that was about six hundred thousand dollars right there six hundred thousand dollars insane get that away from me. I don't need that up here in my face now. I can see. Uh, I woke up this morning. Well, I woke up a little bit ago. Had to had to redo my bat boss battle with uh the old man on RoboCop because it was just such an epic battle last night. I was able to do it this morning and half the time, so. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a great game, man, that RoboCop. It's, it's outstanding. All right, so it looks like we've got everything in. I don't think we've got anything going on. Let me double check everything real quick. We bought plot 15, I believe, or 25. One or two. I don't remember which one we bought. We'll check it here in a little bit. <clears throat> Everything is growing. Growing, growing, growing. We're good to go. Everything is fertilized except for that. Why is, why is that not fertilized? Okay, you know what? We're going to... Ooh, just a second. Is it going to affect our sunflowers? Canola? Or... Our... Olives? No. Ooh, you know what? I may actually try, you guys. On, on over here is red beets to give it a try because we did try we did try carrots over on Zalanka and Not bad not bad, but we can buy the stuff over here, too, so I may try it over here. I don't know don't have a clue haven't decided yet But we may it may be what happens Give it a try here eventually we'll get some people in the have all the DLC that I've got and they can eventually, you know, get them in on some training and practice or whatever you want to call it. Like on the job training. Whatever. <laughs> get me some farm hands brought in. Real people. Okay, so I can sleep the night away because I don't really want to be out working in the night. Let's go till 8 in the morning. Let's go see what we got. I bought, like I said, I bought some land. I would... You know what I mean? It's like, hmm, what do I do? Oh, it's raining. Well, ain't that just spiffy. need to be sprayed so we'll get these guys sprayed real quick little tractor here I think he'll be able to handle it for me mm, I 
actually. I don't know if this tractor... Yeah, this tractor can handle it. Ooh. He may be able to handle it, but he ain't got the gas. Let's, uh... Let's go fill him up. Hopefully I've got the gas in there to fill him up. If not, I'll have to, uh... I'll have to go get more eventually here. Back to New Holland over here real quick. Whoops. We're not doing that crap today. That'll get me irritated too quick. We don't want that. Let's repair the dude. That cost quite a bit. Let's beef him up a bit. This one's got 39 hours on it, so we just kind of beefed up a tractor that needed it. You know what I mean? It needed some TLC, guys. So it's not like I did something bad. Oh! You know, it's not like it, it's going to hurt it none. It needed it. It was in dire need. Ooh, I'm that low on spray. I'm going to have to have the AI do it. I was going to do it myself, but if I'm that low, I'm not. I won't get through it. The AI will because it'll, he'll charge me. But since he's been upgraded a little bit, he should speed right through it now. Oh, I was so close, really. And with the new crop, there's uh, no crop destruction on the new crops. So that might even be another reason why to give... Why to get, you know, there's a reason to give it a go, you know what I mean? No no crop destru destru destruction. I love it. Okay, well, I let him get that done, and then I can speed time up after that. We'll check the other fields here in a second. I gotta, I gotta readjust my chair. I gotta grab the other chair real quick. So give me just a few minutes to get that, you guys, and we're gonna let this guy run real quick. But hey, feel free to talk, man. I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening. So, chat away. My goal is to get to 950 subs this month and 10 likes per stream. So help out and have a great time chilling here.
I gotta make sure we ain't got any, uh, any stuff going on here that shouldn't be going on. These should be harvestable shortly. No water, no wood. Ah, sounds like me. Wow, no water, literally. Man, I had a back scratcher. I just went out to go grab it, and it kept it's missing. It's not where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be sitting, up, hanging on my wall out there in the hallway, so I can get to it. Somebody's playing with my stuff. I swear to God, if it's in the kids' room, I will be irate. They have a tendency to break my. Sh crap when uh, I'm not thinking about it. Get these guys here filled up with water, get some wood chopped down, get it put in the uh, wood spot over there. That way that can get me some money going. And then I can speed time up and we can get through all this. Get our canola harvested. And then we can harvest up our sunflowers, which we got a lot of sunflowers and olives. We got lots of olives. I've got about a $600,000 uh, spread of olives. I'll show you guys that here in a second. I want to let me get this filled up real quick first. Then I'll uh, jump down to where the olives are at and I'll show you guys my olive field. It's uh, quite big. Like I said, I spent $26,570 per row. And altogether, I spent, like I said, I spent about $600,000. So you can figure out roughly about how many rows that is. If, you know, if you're good enough at the math, I'm not. I just know that it's a lot. That kind of money. Man, if I had that kind of money in real life, probably would have burnt this house down twice, built a better one. Now, if I had 600000 I'd I'd be living in a cardboard box somewhere, and I'd have the, probably the most luxurious car I could have. I'm telling you what. <laughs> No, I'd, I'd, no, I'd probably, I'd probably put it all up and try to save it, honestly, I mean, there's only so much I can really buy, you know, that you can buy and actually be happy with, I mean, you could buy everything and say you've got everything, but, I mean, happiness comes at a price, and that's generally giving up on the greedy stuff, isn't it? Who knows? Come on, hurry up. This thing takes so long to fill. Sorry, you guys. I need a spot where I can fill this thing, like, fast. It'd be nice if I had two of these little water tanks, or, uh, water towers that I could use at the same time. You know, for quick fill would be really sweet because this is, wow. It's like five minutes of our life we'll never get back. This out here, we'll fill both of these guys up. And it's going to say, we've been at it 15, 21 minutes already, okay.
Man, it sounds like my dogs are losing their mind outside. do I need to do? Oh, we were going to jump down there real quick. You aren't done. You missed something. I know you did. I... I called it. He misses that. They miss that spot all the time. In that field, I desperately need to change it up because they miss so much. Like this thing right through here, I gotta, I gotta cut some of this field off and size it back a little bit or something. I don't know how far over this went. Oh yeah, I do. We can see it. The light spot. But I still missed a spot. Well, tiny little stretch. Like, in, insignificant. But it's enough. I gotta be a little picky about it. hundred percent well hundred percent on the fertilized anyway why is that not at a hundred percent for the yield bonus though and I did everything man I plowed it oh, we removed all the rocks we turned it into a seed bed we I'm gonna take one season off from growing all this and I'm gonna grow that um oil seed you know you know what I mean the um the reddish to help get it to a hundred percent for the next growth so that's what I'm gonna end up doing with that get this folded everything is good Let's put this up real quick. I gotta get to town later and get me some sugar so that way, a little bit of sugar so that way I can have me some coffee. I don't like my coffee without sugar. It's kind of bland. And water absolutely like sucks, has no flavor. It'd be, it'd be pretty cool. To, I'd like to buy one of them one things where you can put like berries in it and you just put water in it and just mix it together. That way you get a good berry flavored water. Something. Even lemon water would be fine. I don't even care. Flavor. <laughs> Alright, um, where's my... Oh, here's my olives. Show you guys the olives real quick. Look at this. We got... I wasn't doing that right. I wasn't figuring it out until down here a little bit later. So, 22 rows... 
cost me over, over a little over six hundred thousand dollars you guys insane see now i don't get it like i can't get a hundred percent i just i can't get anything to a hundred percent not even grew oil seed reddish here you know first mulched it down like it said i did everything man i don't get it well i cultivated it maybe i should have mulched it first and then cultivated it I don't know how that works, because that was a uh, catch crop, so it should have worked. That's what I get for thinking. Let's take this big bad guy. He's pretty beastly. We got to get some wood put in this thing over here. And I got... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that... Stupid pallet. Always turn your auto loading trailers off while driving through spaces. Okay, well, if you're back here and you don't have the, uh, thingy ma bobber on you, then where is it? Well, you don't even need to be back here, honestly, if you don't have Hmm. Let's go find that real quick. I'm wonder I'm curious as to where my wench is at. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I gotta get that thing out of here. It's on the front of that tractor. Really? Oh, that's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. We're just driving tractor after tractor, guys. It's all good. All right, let's go get this uh, dropped off. This this guy back here hauls like no tomorrow. Maybe it wouldn't have been for him being like, yeah, you should. We should buy this. Like, I probably never would have bought this thing. And gave it a try, man. To be honest with you. Nah, this is a nice tractor. Like, seriously, if Godfrey, the one that plays with me once in a while, if he wouldn't have been like, yeah, we need to get this. Like, I don't think I ever would have got this tractor, man. It's, like I said, it's awesome. I'm pretty sure that if you're on a remote or you have a joystick or something, you could probably get it to work where one side turns a little better than the other. I don't know. I don't know if these things are intended to have just a track or if you can go with wheels on them. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't been paying attention to it. I just know that it works good, you know. Hey, he's not a big tree, but he's a tree. He'll do. all going anyway eventually it'll all get replanted but mm -hmm. 
These are all little trees, man, technically. It's those thir it's the uh, 30, 30 some meter ones that I'm looking for. Those are the good ones. I got enough rope to get back here. My winch is long enough. That's good to know. Yeah, that's right. Pull it right in next to this guy. It actually worked out good. Try it. Keep going. Let's get this guy first. I'm not going to be able to get all four of them at this angle. There we go. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. We'll use him for like a spot for where these guys will stop. Sometimes you just gotta finagle them about. Like that. Got to get all four of them somehow, man. The more wood, the better. It's not that much of a struggle, man. Come on, you got this. It's like that little engine that could, man. You just got to keep going. I just need to get me a good... Oh, I got him. We got him. That's some driving. 13,000 for two of them. But if I can just find me just two of them, just the right ones that I'm looking for, you know what I mean? Not just two of them. It's got to be more than two, but... It's like, in thickness-wise, or height-wise... They've got to be like 35 meters or something. they got to be biggins. These little guys are... They're okay for little guys. But like I said, man, biggins. We need biggins. So much small... So many small trees. I mean, I know there's some big ones in here, but, you know what, let's just, uh, let's grab what we can grab. 
I guess. I mean, it is what it is. Waiting for that 36 meter tree. That's going to be the good tree, man. The 36 meter. I'll be. All right, let's grab this one here. Oh, Jesus. Speared me right in the chest, man. Probably knocked the wind out of my dude. Oh man, I didn't grab me no no juice or anything to drink. It's kinda lame. We got to get this at least a 40 or 50k. That's why I'm, man, I want those big, thick trees. But like I said, if I can get like, if I can find four of them, that'll be enough to put me into about the 30, 40,000 range, and I can be good with that. There's a big one right there. He's a big one. Guarantee that one. There's a big one in there. Back up just like this. Twenty-five meter. Twenty-five meter. Thirty-five meter. Taking this one and the one in front of it. Cause I don't think I can get away with hauling three. I mean, if they give us better stuff in the long run, then yeah, I guess. Winches. You know, if they give us better winch in the long run, it'd be something. Be a start anyway. I don't think it's going to let me do it. I think two's the most I can carry at this weight.
cut it right there. See what happens. I'm hoping I can. I, I doubt it, man. I doubt it. Oh, I can. Okay. Works for me. Ooh, we got weight. Ooh. Wow, that that's some that is some weight. Even for this guy that's some weight. It's insane. I might be able to improve it though if I really wanted to. Thirty eight? Alright. That's way better. Definitely been clearing this place out, you guys. I've got a, I've got it opened right up. What's going on, you guys? We're just uh, filling our lumber yard up real quick, getting it full of wood. Then we got, then we'll have some other stuff going on. Got to do this first. We got to get all our, we got to get all our extra money maker stuff done. You know what I mean? We got to be profitable. Show me that line. Yeah, it looks like a good angle to me. She will tip. Oh, I didn't look at the length of that. Did you guys see the length on that tree? Was that 25 or 35? Man, I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. If it's 35, it's better. If it's 25, it's all right. I can haul four of them if they're 25. Three if I have a 35 and two 25s. He's going to be a big one. Oh, yeah, he's a big boy. Let's grab our rope, winch, toe straps. What are we gonna call him? My granddad called him a jerk strap. He'd he'd hook right onto it and he'd just start jerking the crap out of anything he hooked him to, man. If he was in the vehicle that needed to pull him out of a ditch, <sighs> buddy, be careful. Come on, pull him up here. We got another one. Where'd I drop it? Back there. We'll go check him out in a minute. Well, come on, man. So what are you guys all doing today? Where's the end? Where's the end at? There we go. Oh, it's one of those divide and conquer logs. Look at that. They're all small, so I can get one more. So let's go like this. Drop you real quick. Let's, um... 
take this guy. If we're going to take four, we might as well get him right here. I'm going to have to jerk it over that way here in a second. Hook the winch up. Give her a nice little pull. No. Not the way it was meant to go. Works for me. As long as they're all up there. Man, if I could fit through there with this guy, I would. With this wood. Oh man, I was on a good, I was on a good motion too. What's going on, you guys? How's everybody's day going? This should put me at forty-eight to fifty thousand. Forty-eight, forty-seven, fifty-two. Okay, so it showed me up a bit. All right. All right, let's check some. Yes. I took a lot of planks in, so we got a lot of furniture being done up. Canola. That stuff's about out. And we're about ready for the canola as well, right? July. So we got two months to get through. Let's get through two months real quick. Wrong button. Once the actual nighttime hits, then I'll then I'll sleep so it goes through a little bit quicker. Stupid things are in the way. And it's too heavy to pick up because why are those? You know. What's going on, world? How you doing, buddy? What you taking a break from? Yeah, see, we got canola oil stored, though, so... That's all right. As long as that's storing, I don't care because I'll eventually just go and pick it up and hopefully through the roof with it. You know what I mean? It makes me some good money. Between that and my honey, which is at 16,000 liters. Where's my truck? I like I, I like having my, my side... Um, what is that? It's definitely not a thunder chicken. AKA a dinosaur. Oh, we got silage, you guys. Tons of silage. It's going to make us buku money. Point that out real quick. That will help us, too.
I like having the side um, panel open. Zilanka. Oh, from Zalanka. Oh, it's not that I'm taking a break from it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to it. I just wanna do more over here. Zalanka looks all right. It's not bad. Um, like I said, we uh, we tested out the um the carrots the other day. I was honestly thinking about even trying out the um, trying them out over here, just to uh, you know what I mean. I gotta grab this real quick. I can't leave that sitting there like that. Working on them now. Nice. No, Zalanka's an alright map. I don't mind it. I've got ten of the uh, apples already done. I was going to go back over to it this morning, but I'll probably end up doing a nighttime stream of it. There we go. Done a little bit more of an angle. I don't know. As long as it's out of the way, that's all the ma you know. It's you know it's in the way. These trees. If I drop them this way, so that way they're out of my way, I'll be all right. No, it's it's an alright map. It, it is. It's an alright map. But over here, I just finally got the olives planted the other day and never even got to use them, you know what I mean? Or to harvest them, so that's what I'm doing today. I want to get my olives harvested. So that's the uh, that's the overall goal for this one today. We just gotta open some, you know. I gotta have some. Gotta have some room, man. Could have a little bit of room, you know how it goes. So what's everybody up to today? Lost all my AF map the other day. Pre-update patch at dollar percent me. Oh man, that would suck, dude. Whoops, I didn't mean nine. I wanted eight. I'll take nine. Whatever. I'm just trying to get through it, man. Oh, really? You know, man's like. Oh, man, that would suck. Whoa. AF is American Falls map. Mmm. Alright, I, I don't have that one.
We gotta get rid of the trees and the stumps, but that's okay. If you would like to help the channel, any donations are very much appreciated. Thank you, PayPal. Dot me slash Kennedy two one eight eight. More than you guys know, but not expected. I need to make a like a drive right here. But then if I do that I ruin all the grass that I can potentially mow for stuff later. Eventually we're gonna be doing chickens and all that jazz, you guys. Chickens some sheep. And that's what I'm that's what I'm going for. Chicken and sheep. I think that's gonna eventually be what we do. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys ain't did it yet, though, man, make sure you guys hit that like. Help me out. Man, we got people saying no to being ready for Thanksgiving. Only one person voted. How'd everybody tuned in? Only one person. Okay. Oof. I thought they all voted. No, I was going to say, wow. Shame. Man, I still made it back before the thing got filled. Nice. Very nice. But yeah, hey, if you guys play this and you guys want to get in on this, uh, join my... Uh Discord, I am looking for some people that want to actually play, you know what I mean, you guys? So if you guys uh, have the DLC that I have, the premium, the platinum, the two-year um, pass, you know, stuff like that, make sure you guys uh, message me in uh, Discord. Bring you guys on over to my... Elm Creek map for a couple hours off stream. We can kind of play together and then go from there. Trying to cut all the grass before you develop it can be a bit too much. No need to save it all. Nope. Nope. No reason to save it all. No, but like this grass here, if I can mow it down, I can just bale it up and make bales out of it for silage because I got all that silage right there that I got to take in yet. But, you know, if I can make more silage, the better. You know what I mean? Especially when I know that silage is going to... That silage there should get me almost 200 grand or more. That'd probably put me close to a million dollars if I turned it all in right now. With what I got on the trailer sitting there as well. I forgot about that. And the other trailer over there has some on it. So, yeah. I might get close to 200 grand out of that. But if I mow all this down right here that's just barren... And then bail it up. Along with... 
I think we bought another map the other day too, you guys. Or another, not another map, but uh, another piece anything. of property. Oh, it does. It does. And when you're running solo, it's a hundred percent a pain. Like, uh, Godfrey, he plays with me once in a while. And then, you know, there's, there's the days that he does and the days that he don't, so. But it's a kid, so it's expected, you know, probably homework, after school activities, stuff of that sort. So it's, you know, I, I need, I need people to, like, if I jump on every day at noon and I jump on Discord and I say, you guys, squad up, let's go. Time to time to hit the plow, you know, hit the plow. Like, I got people ready to go, you know what I mean? Like, people are willing to jump on, like, let's go, animal, let's do it. You know what I mean? I need need to have people like that because, yeah. This game is fun, it is. But, like, doing those carrots and stuff, the parsnips and all that, I'd much rather have two people minimum for stuff like that. That's, you know what I mean, you guys? That's some tedious stuff. It's, I mean, it, it's not that it's boring, it's just that it's, it's always, some things are always better with extra people, you know what I mean? Okay, we're out of our oils. All right, we'll turn those off for now. Ooh, we're at our max capacity for storage. Ooh, buddy. Might have to buy another trailer and put down there just for storage alone. Yali, that's a one-man job. Man for kid. Oh, oh, he, he, uh, the kids, he, that kid, uh, that's his name, actually, on YouTube is that kid, but he, he plays a lot, he does, he plays, God, a lot, he's, he's played everything from, like, 14 or 15 up when it comes to this farm simulator game, that's all I know. Okay, we just got to get to July now. And July is our harvest for canola. There's the new one. Well, not new one, but the refreshed one with a new motor. Bigger bigger power plant all right so just want to kill things oh some of them do yeah some of them do yeah he's been playing a lot of the I think Fortnite right now because the, the new season which goes back to the original stuff like that he's been playing a lot of that and I got I get what you're saying I gotta move those trees too. What's going on, you guys? How you doing? We're gonna be doing canola, so let's grab that real quick, and then we can hop through everything. How's everybody's day going? I'm glad I took those trees down. Now I just got to get the tractor up here and haul them out. Grind the stumps out. Get those out of there. Be good to go. Man, where do I want to start at? I got a lot of beehives. But the beehives don't work like they say they do. 
Because even without the beehives, I can still get 98% yield. So. The which one? Is. That's not a John Deere, is it? They've got some nice tractors on here already, honestly. I want to make sure I'm ready, you guys, because in June or July, it's harvest time. Oh, that save screen again. So what's everybody up to? McCormick, I think. Oh, okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> Canola. Right there at the top. Yeah, July. So as soon as July hits, you guys, we can start on that. And I think everything else is good, man. I think we've got everything. See, look at that. Like, I can get 98% without needing that. That thing's... Hmm. Yeah, I need to... One, for one season, I need to, after I cut down all the sunflower, I just need to plant that oil, seed radish, let it grow, mulch it, till it in the seed bed, and then maybe go from there, maybe I'll be able to get to 100%. I, have, I had one 100% field crop, and that was over on Elm Creek, and that was on cotton, and that was on my smallest smallest field which was uncool I think we're good though I don't think we have anything to worry about I'm not seeing any weeds everything is just peachy man 350 HP mid-size $225,000 really And that's got a track on it. I like the track. I'm not going to lie. Those, The uh, tractors with the tracks on them, it's actually pretty nice. Like that one that we got in the back. Uh, he, Godfrey got that, wanted to get it, and we got it. And it's actually pretty nice, even though all he did was messed around with it for a few minutes then got off, got off the uh, game, which is what it is. But I've been using the crap out of it. I've been running that thing right in the ground. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it is. I I like I like the tra I like the tracks, man. They're they're nice. Let's go with eight a.m. I don't want to go no nine a.m. Lose out on an hour of daylight. Come on now. My dude's a farmer. Needs all that daylight. Seven hundred and thirty-four thousand. We make we make some money when we sleep. We just gotta make sure everything's gonna keep making money. Where you at? It's like that. I keep them full. See, now that rain there should, anytime it rains, it should refill those. I mean, you got gutters. You know, you can't tell me that you can't run that rainwater right in there. It's going right back into the plant. It's perfectly fine to do that. In my book. Yes, sir. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. How's this guy down here doing? With the 10.5 oh. meters plow, I'm tearing up Sri Lanka. 10.5 meter plow. That's, that, that's a mod, isn't it? Makes it bigger. It's supposed to be bigger than it needs to be. Look at all that oil. My dude can get all lathered up and he can have a downhill slide. Holy crap. We got a thousand liters of furniture. That'll make me 3K. I 
I'd love to buy one of those, um, you know the carnival rides, the, the big huge slides, the big slides that they have, you know? Like the four man, five man, big yellow slides. I would love to be able to someday afford one of those. And then just with a bunch of like olive oil or any any type of oil that's, you know, obviously not going to hurt the environment. But I'd like to lather them up and get people out there on like the old school plastic slides and crap for going, you know, sledding and just rip down those things, man. You know how fun that would be? That would just be way too much fun. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have tons, tons. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I gotta get ready to slow down time. You know what? It's that kind of day. We're gonna we're gonna sleep in our bed till eight in the morning, and then he's gonna get up and he's gonna go plow those fields. Well, not plow them. Harvest. Seven hundred and sixty six thousand dollars. Seven hundred and forty thousand or ninety thousand, whatever. So six hundred something. It's gonna be seven hundred something. Eight hundred seven hundred and eighty six. Wow. I was just hoping for some good random numbers. That's not bad. July 1st, it's harvest time, fellas. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Turn on the harvester, my dude. We don't have the tractor up or the trailer up here yet, but that's all right. Good day, everybody. How y'all doing? Oh my god, we got one weed in the field. Look at that. Way out here in the middle of nowhere. There's probably going to be more over here, honestly, that I didn't notice. See, now you would think that one little weed, I could just pluck that with my hand, right? Nope. Sure can't. I do appreciate you guys all tuning in today, man. I'm I'm out here farming like it's no one's business, you guys. So what y'all doing today? Other than watching and kicking back and chilling. You can get a hand tool mod. Oh, can you really? Like a like a scythe or a sickle or you know whatever, something like that, where you can go out and just like knock out the weeds. That'd be cool. And actually go out and pluck out those weeds like that individually, like that. Yeah, man. And I can get that for, and it's on PlayStation? Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely look into it. And yes, you guys, I am running the combine myself right now. Or harvester, whatever you want to call it.
As long as it's not a script mark. Mm. See, I'm I'm really picky about using the mods, but you know, as long as it's like, it, as long as it's a real tool, you know what I mean, a real life tool. I ain't got no problem using it, you guys. I ain't got a I ain't got a problem using something that's that's like legit real life equipment, you know. Like I ain't got no pro I ain't got nothing against that. Now, if you give me a plow that's like twenty or thirty meters wide or something like that, I'm gonna say no to that because unless it's something that's a legit real life real deal thing, I'm not gonna use it. So don't nobody be talking about, oh yeah, animal, get a combine that's like got size of Godzilla or some crap. Not doing it. I'm sure there's mods like that out there too. I mean, I ain't got no problem watching people use them, but I'm not using them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow that all out the back end now, buddy. It's like a bad night of drinking. If it ain't coming out the front, you got the, the running, screaming, burning. Most of the stuff in Mod Hub is safe and they are tool extension of FS22. Well, that's that's pretty cool, though. Yeah, but I mean, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about, though. You get, you get those mods that are like out of this world. You know what I mean? Like for me, honestly, even the. Um, the auto bale trailer that we that I've got up there, the one that will pick the bales up for me, the silage bales, you know, just to put them on the, um, you know, to put them on the trailer. Like, I mean, yeah, that's that's getting, you know, that's like the extent of what I would go for realism, you know, outside of realism. Even though I do use the auto load trailers for the semi. But if you think about it, I mean, if you work in a factory and you run a lift truck, you're automatically loading that trailer for that truck driver. So, you know. But out in the out in the field like that, picking bales up. I mean, I guess it works for me, man. I'm I'm not bound. I'm not like going out and trying to want to pick up each one of them bales. My arms go numb way too quick. I don't need something else to have to deal with in the process. I don't mind it. I'm not even paying attention to my stuff. I'm just running, you guys. Paying attention to you guys in chat, though. So, appreciate y'all sticking around. Make sure you guys hit that like. Help me out. I am on the way, man. 950 subs this month and 10 likes per stream. So help out and have a great time chilling here. Hey, got it for me. Not a script mark. Most of the stuff in Mod Hub is safe and they are tool extension of FS22. Just too much stuff to put in game. Hired hand. All right, I need a hired I need hired hands, man. I'm gonna have to hire him that way I can go get me the trailer here shortly. I'm gonna hire him right now. I'm gonna go grab me a trailer, man. That's Yeah, dude, I know where it's at. I left it. 
Come on now. Tell me something we don't know already. Hello, Lois. If you would like to help the channel, any donations are very yeah, much appreciated. Yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly the way I see the auto loaders. Is like it's it's like a hired hand that ain't actually charging my pocketbook. Like you know, like I was as a child. <laughs> my grandparents didn't pay me to start, man. My first couple of years out doing it, I did it for free. I, I remember, I remember my, I looked at my grandparents and I was like, well, you ain't going to pay me for this? They, they looked at me and said, you don't like your Terminator toys? You don't like your RoboCop toys or your G.I. Joes? I said, well, yeah, of course I like my G.I. Joes and my RoboCops. You know, I was like, well, you'll work for it. And that's what I did, man. I mean, my, my grandparents, they didn't end up paying me, you know, to obviously help do the, the hay, but yeah, they... You know, as a little kid, man, eight, nine years old, I was a kid. I liked, I liked playing with my toys. I liked my RoboCop. Like I had, I had every RoboCop toy. I had every Terminator toy they had. Like, I worked for that crap, man. Like all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys, I had every one of them. But you know what? I did dishes. I helped my grandma do dishes. I helped my granddad do the chores out in the fields. Like, I earned my stuff, man. I didn't, I didn't have a single toy I didn't have to earn myself. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I had Christmas and my birthday and stuff like that to get cool gifts, you know, for not having to do nothing. But I mean, other than that, I mean, from the age of eight, I've been working my whole life, honestly. You know, doing stuff, helping, doing stuff. Started working in tree farms, trimming pine trees with the uh, with the uh, Spanish people, you know, when they would come up, you know, for the season to tree trim. At the age of 12, I was out doing that, trimming trees, trying to learn Spanish at the same time. It didn't help, it didn't work, I didn't learn nothing. Made a dollar, you know, I made some money. Learned how to trim, trim some pine trees as a kid, but... I don't know. I guess that all just kind of added up, you know, in the long run. To... I don't know, man. I love working. I really do. I wish I could go out and do it every day and not have my arms go numb. That's the worst part about being on disabilities. At times, boredom. That's why I can fill my days and your guys' hours full of I was raised on a farm this. And this ship was Conquer Trucks and Matchbox. Oh, man. Tonka truck like, which, did you have all the Tonka trucks? Did you have, like, the, uh, the one with the little rotator thing on the back with the little scooper on it? I can't remember what the heck that, that truck was called. But I had all of them. I had all of them, but yeah, I, I was, I was actually, I was raised on a horse ranch. My, my grandparents took, uh, raised horses. My grandmother broke horses. We, uh, we, we rode, um, we rode, uh, horses cross state, cross the Michigan every year. We did that for, God, decades, 20, almost 30 years we did that for of my life anyway, 30 years of my life, up until I was probably 32, because my granddad, he passed away in 2012, after that, my grandma got, that's when my grandma stopped with the horses, so, yeah, 2012 was the last time I lived on the horse ranch, I actually, with, with horses, you know what I mean, so, But yeah, we had, we got a couple New Holland tractors that we used. We had a couple of old school, the old school manure spreaders where, where the sides and the, everything was like made of old wood. It wasn't hold, held on by bolts, they were rivets. <laughs> like, 
My granddad had some pretty cool old old school stuff. They had a uh, they had a little itty bitty plow that you literally had to hook up to a horse, to two horses to pull it. That's how he would plow his uh, his field before he they before they bought the New Holland tractor that they got. So yeah, it was pretty crazy. And then my other grandparents, they were actual farmers like this. My granddad, he had a, well, they still have it, but he passed away here about eight years ago, ten years ago, give or take. And he has an old John Deere that's, you know what, no. No, it's not John Deere. It would be Case because it's red. Case International. Because it's red. I was just, we just drove by there the other day and I seen it. The old thing's old rust, rusty red. So I think it's an old Case International. But that thing is... <laughs> it's like half the size of that thing right there in real life, you know what I mean? That that header on that right there would tip my granddad's pl harvester over. <laughs> like, no joke. But yeah, no, that's that's what I grew up on. That's what I grew up with. But yeah, no, I grew up with the Tonka trucks. The, my my grandmother, she was a uh, oil field worker. So, you know, during the nighttime when she wasn't out breaking horses and stuff, she was working at an oil refinery here in uh, Michigan, climbing up the top of the the up the uh, tower, you know, to scrape the sludge and replace the uh, filters and air filters and stuff like that. Like she did some, she did a dangerous job, but I mean, they paid her thirty-two dollars an hour throughout the '80s and early '90s to do that job. I mean, she was getting paid up to thirty-two dollars an hour to climb up a smokestack that had, had an eight-foot flame blowing out the top of it. So, well, they they were having they were um, supposed to have a like a what was it like a Kind of like a work party thing, you know, where they threw like a pizza party for people one night. So my grandmother took her uh, recorder in to record the uh, the party for everybody. And in the process of it, I'll ask, I'll ask her if she still has the video. And uh, they were they were getting ready to do the pizza party. And one of the stacks blew because something happened on the day shift. And it literally caught on fire and half the, half the place caught on fire. She caught it all on camera. I'll ask her if she's still got the video. If she does, I'll put it up on the TV, record it. And I'll record it with my phone, and I'll add a little snippet or something to a shorter. It was, it was crazy. The factory's not there no more. They tore it down here about 15 years ago. Some four-leaf clover, or some oil factory or whatever from Texas bought it out. As soon as they bought it, they closed it down after telling everybody they were gonna, you know, be able to keep their jobs. And then within three months, they fired everybody. Gave them all the walk-in slip. Now it's just a big old oil field. You walk by there, that's all you can smell is the oil. Just like, you know what I mean? Like the propane oil coming out of the, the lines that still run through there that they use. It's pretty sad. Because the uh, the, the oil refinery actually used to protect the city with, a, uh, with what they called the uh, ozone layer heat blanket. So like outside of town, we'd, we would get like two, three foot of snow. But in town, it would be the thermal the thermal heat energy was so warm that they'd get like two or three inches of snow. While out here in our house, we'd get like two or three foot, which I'm literally four miles out of town. So that that's a big difference, and you know what I mean? But yeah, it, it used to protect the town. We used to have tornadoes and stuff that'd blow through all the time that would never get close enough because they'd say the, the, the thermal blanket from that was just too much and now now when a tornado goes through it cuts right through the edge of town and has even hit the town a couple of times yeah all because the factory closed down man it's it's insane they they did a thing one year in the newspaper where they explained how the city's budget for snow removal during the winter had increased since has, it's increased by like up to like two hundred thousand dollars a year, or you know, in a in a 
whatever time frame they they use, like a two three year period, it's increased like a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars for snow removal in the city since the uh, oil refinery's been gone. Like no joke, it's messed up. Little little town in Michigan called Alma, A L M A, just like just like the game map that you ha that we have on here, but Michigan, not Missouri. It's it's nuts, man. It's crazy what one little one little factory can can do to a town. But then again, the town that I live in or by, I should say, is an auto industry town as well, being that we live in Michigan, you know that I'm in Michigan. So we were we're highly dependent on the automotive industry. And we're down to what from eight factories to two factories, I think, that are actually automotive now. Everything else is closed down, shut their doors. That's like the factory that I was working in that I was um, training to become a supervisor before I got hurt and got put on disability. That's what actually made it so I could go full time on YouTube was getting hurt on disability. I was actually going to be a supervisor though for a place that made medical equipment. That's, that's, that's what all the factories are turning into around here that are still in operation, you know, that are good enough to operate anyway. If they're not making medical equipment, we got one factory that makes, what is it? Ketchup and mustard packets. Yeah, for some itty bitty place, I, I worked there one time. We, we made ketchup packets and mustard packets. Oh, and soy sauce packets. All for some place in, in out, of, out of country. I mean, soy sauce, that, that should give you guys a good hint where it was getting sent. But, you know what I mean? Like... Crazy. Times have changed, folks. Yeah, so, like, this game, man, playing this game, it really takes me back, man, because it's like, this stuff I didn't get to do with my grandparents, because, you know, my granddad, he uh, went deaf and blind before he could get a chance to teach me the whole harvester and combine theme of doing actual farming. And my granddad was the only one in the family that did farming between him and my uncles. My dad wasn't into it. He was an autom automotive person. He worked for Ford, was a mechanic, worked for worked on vehicles and hot rods and stuff. Uh, for all you older people, if you guys are into drag racing, you guys um, would know one of the um, people that my dad worked for. Her name was Shirley Modonnell. One of the first female, she was the first female drag racer. Yeah, my dad was a mechanic for her for a while when he she was touring Michigan. That was pretty cool. Got to meet her as a little kid. My my dad got to work on the uh, motor of Bigfoot when they were here in uh, Gratiot County, Michigan, doing a show. His motor broke down. My dad got to help with that because, like I said, he's a Ford mechanic, so got to meet the original driver of that that was i mean i've got to do a lot of cool stuff as a little kid man it'd be cool to be able to do it again that's what i like about comic cons because i can still go meet some of these cool actors oh no wonder he quit dumping i'm at 100 percent let's go dump this in where am i dumping it the store let's dump it at the store and then the next batch I'll dump in my silos 
That works. We're on, the, we're on the grind today, fellas. I appreciate everybody tuning in. My son sitting in the driver's seat of Mrs. Bigfoot back in like 92. Oh, very cool. I'll ask my I'll ask my dad if he still got um I'm pretty sure he still has the pictures. I mean, I can't I can't foresee that he wouldn't have it, but he's got a picture somewhere of um me standing in the uh inside the wheel of the Bigfoot. You know, and I was like, you know, all stretched out like starfish shape as as he was like inching it forward. So he's got me kind of like so that I could be on an angle. You know what I mean? So it looked really cool. I'll ask my dad if he's still got it. I don't talk to him very often because he's too interested in his 23, 24 year old wife that he's got now. So... Yeah, we're supposed to have a family thing going on here. Oh, you know what? I'm, I may have... Oh, man. I may have actually missed the family gathering. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Oh no, it's n it's next 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 week. No, week after next. Okay. <laughs> Just say, man, I thought I missed it. Not like not that it would have been a big shocker. They'd have been like, oh, Avery's not here again. Betty's streaming. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go grab something to drink real quick, you guys. I will be right back. Give me, like, five minutes at most. So if you guys got to grab something to drink, go for it. If you don't, just grab the uh, the video real quick and go uh, share it. Broncos you know what I mean? Got lucky when taking pics and met the driver in the pits. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to talk to my dad and find out because that's that's some pretty cool stuff, man. That's some awesome stuff. But yeah, I'll be back in a couple minutes, you guys. I gotta grab something to drink. Fill my glass. My mug. My glass. Whatever. Back in a minute. It was.
I'm back. I'm back. I didn't think he was going to get done. I figured I'd have at least a minute or two yet. What is that? Do you see that field, buddy? You look like you're on drugs. You missed a spot. AI, I, AI worker, oh, J, no wonder. He looked like he, he, he didn't want to look at us, you guys. He looked like he might have been on something. Ooh, so close. A little bit of blue and green getting rubbed together there. No, oh, we, had, we had plenty of room. I guess I'm going to have to clean this up for him because we know he won't. My steering wheels, you know, it's one of them racing steering wheels, so it's got that quick snap back after you turn the wheel so far. Yeah, we beat the RoboCop game last night, though, you guys. That game was epic, man. Like, that was, it was awesome. Now I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end up doing another playthrough of it off stream. Because the game is just, it's so awesome. Like, in a cool way, awesome. You know what I mean? Like. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know that much. See, now it needs lime. Uh, lame. Oh! Oh! Oh. Wow. So I bought both of them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because 15, I want to put a ramp on it. I want to build a jumping pad. I want to build a spot for when, when it's time to kind of mess around and have fun, you know? I want to just do some jumps and some weird stuff. Like, there's a spot I want to do it. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it all into grass. But there's one particular spot where it needs a ramp. So, therefore, i got to reshape the land a little bit to fit what I'm looking for. 
because I'm going to have it so that I can ramp one direction and also so that I can go the other direction and still ramp it. I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. If you guys didn't see it, I'll show you. I'll show you. And then 25, I plan to do grass. Plan to make it a big grass field. An actual field. I'm going to plow it all out and everything. I'm not going to mess around. I want my I want my, my AIs to be able to run it without no problem. If it's just like this, they can't run nothing. Knocked my, he knocked my stacks over the other day. Those are kind of off. I didn't stack these three, you guys. These three were not me stacking. Trust me. Wasn't me. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking I want to do some mowing. I don't know why, but I just feel like I want to do a little bit of mowing. Waiting on all that stuff to get done. No, I'm running my harvester. Back with it. Get out of here, AI. Which AI is running it? Oh, it's a worker bee. Hmm. Worker bee. What a name. I think I'm going to take your spot, though, homie. Just for a little bit, because I want to. I want something to do, man. Let's go. If you guys got jams, turn them on. Kick back and relax, man. We're going to let it rip. How are you guys doing? What's everybody got going on today? Appreciate everybody that's tuned in so far. If you guys can, man, hit that like for me. Share it with everybody you can think of. Even people you know that don't watch this stuff, just be like, yo, dude, this guy's chill. Go check him out. You guys know people that play this game? I don't care if they're nobodies or somebody's. Send them my link. We love everybody. Man, I've been, I'm telling you what, I've been on the, uh, I've been on the grind, like, consistently. I've been streaming twice a day, generally. Except for the other day, I streamed all day long and then just kind of was, like, passed out. I was waiting on the DLC for this to drop. And then by the time it dropped, I was so tired, it was just, ugh. For PS5 Platinum Edition includes the Premium Edition. Hello, how you doing? Um, does the Platinum Edition include the Premium Edition? Um, not as far as I know. You'll ha you'd have to, if anything, you'd have to buy the the two year pass, and the two year pass definitely gives you the new DLC for the carrots, parsnips, and uh, red beets. But I have, I have, I have all of those. I've got the platinum, the premium. Well, I've got the premium because I bought the, the two-year pass is what I bought for like thirty-nine, is it thirty-nine bucks, something like that, whatever it is. Oh, I missed a bit. Look at that. That's enough to make a cookie. I don't know. I don't know what you do with canola other than make oil out of it. I've never even thought of farming canola, honestly, until this game, so... 
I don't know what other uses there are for canola other than the cooking oil. But I do appreciate you guys all tuning in, man. Yeah, your best bet would be if you don't have either one of them. I'd probably buy the two-year pass because I don't, I don't know at all. I know that I got the plat, the premium, you know, the the new map Zalanka through doing the two-year pass. So, Premium with season two pass. Yeah, that's how I got. That's how I got my premium with the season two pass. Yeah, I was gonna say because that's what you've got, isn't it? Uh, PCS. Or do you got all of it? Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I guess it's it's one thirty, so it is afternoon now. It's daytime. How y'all doing? My counter goes up and down. Whoa! Stop. Okay, where is my tractor right? Oh, Jesus. I know, I'm going the opposite direction. He's facing the other way, but that's okay. There we go. I got the best package back in old and all the updates are free. There you go. I know there was a time where if you bought it, you could buy it when it was on sale. I honestly, I seen it because I've been paying attention to this game, but I didn't have the game at the time. And the game didn't go... I got the game originally for free, but I tried it, I played it, I liked it, so I paid for it. Then I got to pl I got to platinum and now the premium and probably a few other things I'll end up getting down the line eventually. Definitely gonna get the Kubota pack eventually. But I think that one you can you can have like ride-alongs with other people, so I think that's pretty cool, man. Like you know, uh, that would be kind of cool. Let's you know I'm gonna dump this in down in the oil factory. Get my keep my canola oil getting made, and then. Thank you in trying to figure out which one to buy. I noticed there is a premium edition and a platinum edition for PS5. Yeah, if if you have, I mean, if you have the PS5 and you have the PS5 version, I definitely go with that. But go with whatever system you've got. You know what I mean? 
do whatever's compatible, man. But yeah, I'm I'm so addicted to this game that like I've had people threaten that man if you don't come over and play with me, man, I'm gonna delete you from my friends list. <laughs> it's like, dude, calm down, I'm coming. Got everything but pumps and hoses and the two tractor ones. See, I almost bought the pumps and hose. But then I realized that it's like for pumping sewage and stuff from one spot to the next or something like that through with your tractor. And I was like, nah, I don't know if I want that. That was it, that new, they got an anniversary one that just came out. Oh, do you? Alright. It'd be nice to have a PC. Maybe someday we'll get there. I've already I've already got plans though for the PC when I get the PC because I'm gonna get one that can produce you know the uh, more that more can more run more. a uh, that can run a uh, printer you know like a screen printer style that'll print me out um, prints for my sticker machine and then you know I want it to be able to obviously run a 3D printer because I want to be able to 3D print my own little uh, like knick-knack style things that I can sell for the channel, you know, that we can put in, like, a little merchandise thing, um, what's it gotta be able to do, it's gotta be able to run a printer, it's gotta be able to run a, a 3D printer, like a screen, a, a screen printer style for making my own shirts and hoodies, you know, for the press thing, like, I, I really want to expand after I hit 1k subs, I really want to move forward with doing stuff. Because, like I said, I'm on I'm on disability. You know, I've got issues. This is so like, you know, I get PC. I got lucky finding this game because it's it makes it so much easier, and I can still enjoy it and still game. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, if, uh, you know, if I can eventually get off a of disability someday, even just doing this and making money from this, dude, I'm down. I'm down. You know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy that's got to live month to month off our of a monthly paycheck of nothing. I'm not gonna say how how low it is because it's low. Sad how low it is, but it is what it is. I make I make more than a lot do, but before I went on disability, I was putting in. 12 hour days, 7 day weeks, like, I was putting in a lot of time, so, I earned it, but it's still not enough. But I'll say, it keeps the bills paid, keeps the roof over my head, I'm grateful for that. Come on buddy, what you doing? What you got? What you got? What you got? Oh, you ain't got very much in there yet. But yeah, um, well, I'm gonna let him do that. He, he'll let me know when he's 80% full. I was telling you, I was, there's a spot where I want to set up a ramp, you know, for jumping. So that way when, you know, when I want to be a kid, I can be a kid and go play a little bit, you know, on here. In between doing my farming stuff. Take out my big green tractor, or my big green mower. Look at this thing. I bought this piece of property over... Look at that, there's a, there's a trail that runs through there. Now, if they made those more prominent, and actually looked like real trails with, like, little tire track, like, looking grooves in it, I would never plow over it. I would leave it. I like the thought of that. But... I'm not going to go through and, you know, but we bought this property here 
and this this one spot right here is pretty fun I like this man this is okay see what I want to do is I want to build a spot right here I want to have a I want to increase the the pitch of the ground up I want to build a little ramp right here and then this tree right down here at the bottom I got to cut him out and then grind the stump off because right here you can come launching out of that and it's it's almost like a god dang free for all like if you got like three or four people on here and everybody was just having a blast I could build like a little I could end up turning it into a little racetrack a little oval racetrack I think it would be sweet and I bought all I bought all of it man I bought 15 and 25 but I want to I want to turn it all into grass fields that's all I want to do with it man hay bales as far as the eye can see but most of it's going to be actual field I will plow it all up we're going to chop out the trees because like I said if I can put an AI out here to run it for me and get it done even better for me I got this guy set up right now I can I could actually mow a little bit to get something going on while they're doing stuff but I will actually because I don't own 24 Oh yeah, see, just as I decide that I want to start doing something, he's all like, yeah, guess what? 80%. Oh, it's set up to do that, yep. But yeah, like, I want to turn all this into a big hay field, man. That silage pays so well. I'll have to deal with it. I almost bought um, 26 over there, the one with the pond on it. But since we can't use it, it was like... To me, it just was like, it defeated the purpose to buy it, you know? For me. I mean, if I can't use the water, then... I don't know if it's really worth it if I can't, you know what I mean? If I can't use the water. I mean, it'll get me the trophy for buying everything under the sun or whatever if I buy every piece of land. But... He's getting close, I know. Probably probably already full. Well, he'll tell us. He'll tell us. Like that, right there. Full grain tank. Look at that. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a lot of grass, you guys. And that one guy would be impressed. Yep, you're full. That's good. I'll be there in a second. I gotta at least finish it off, you guys. We gotta complete it. One full, one complete pass. Stay away from the cannoli. 
canola. I'm sure there's a difference. I'm going to point it out. Could you imagine stepping out and that thing just taking off and rolling forward on you without those blades being done yet? Be like the gingerbread man from Shrek after he gets his legs broke off. <laughs> oh man. Ignore that, you guys. You guys remember that scene? I don't know why it just popped in my head. But I just, for some reason, I just pictured the little gingerbread man laying there on the plate trying to kick with his legs broke off. Nine hundred bucks. And he's got AC. Probably got music. He's probably sitting in there Check talking the to his prices compared to other brains. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, well, the reason I'm doing canola is because of, uh, the oils. That's still the reason I'm doing it, so that way I can produce all three forms of oil. Because I'm growing olives, sunflowers, and canola, so that way I, I can produce all three forms. They, they, they pay well. Like, for turning it into oil and everything, it pays really well. Like right in, what, November is the uh, highest sell time for for the grain, for the grain itself. You know, for the what is it canola? What is, it, is it seed or is it a grain? It's a seed, right? They they crush the oil out of the seed. So, but down here, like canola oil, in November sells for three thousand. Like you know, like way up there. So that's what I'm doing is I'm I'm converting my my sunflower seed oil over to oil, my canola to oil. He's the best as a grain. And olives will be getting uh done October. But they best sell in May. So what's that? Pays the best is great. I don't know about that. I mean, we're getting 3,564 for a thousand liters of the oil. And this one here for the grain form only pays 1,285 for a thousand liters. So it's paying, it's paying three times as much for the oil as it is the, the grain form paying way better but I was disappointed in was the mill sixty thousand altogether I think let's see find out let's find out what the price was for the mill the oil mill real quick you guys oil mill oh 80,000 it was 80,000 my bad 80,000 for that and then for like this guy here for the cereal factory which would which doesn't take that which would be what what else takes the canola oil or canola seed or anything I 
mean, other than the oil factory, I don't know. Oh, and then here's a potato processing. They take the oils. Do you need to sell to make eighty thousand? Oh, oh, um, don't know. I know, I know the conversion rate though for the grain to oil is two to one, so two, two grain, two. Yeah, two grain to one, but um, I know that with the oil, I don't know, I'd have to actually, um, can we go back in time? How far back in time can we go? We cannot go back in time. Okay, so back in, well, back in March, was there any sold products right there? $107,000. If you don't have the money, One, 100000 just saying. Oh, I've got the money. I ain't worried about the money. Hundred thousand. I th April. I just don't remember if that was. Hmm. It just says sold products. I think that's overall for the month. I don't know. We'll. We'll find we'll find out we'll find out here eventually because like I said we're we're getting we're getting pretty full on our production there it's 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 getting there I'm actually gonna turn that back on so that way it'll continue to make it so that way when I pull the trailer up there it just sucks it right out you got forty two thousand liters in there gonna be putting another 20,000 liters in there in a minute but you know what I need I really don't want to do it but I do need to do it I need another trailer because I've got a trailer catching wood I got a trailer catching honey now I need a trailer catching oil so let's go buy ourselves a trailer gotta have trailers for everything man Because then my wood pallet trailer is also going to be the one that I load my furniture onto to drive over to sell it at the uh, one sale place. So I need to buy this to continue doing that. Because I don't want to. I don't want to go and transfer my honey out right now. I want my I want my honey trailer to fill right up. You know what I mean? And like I said, I got the money. I'm. I bring more money in. Then I get out. Dude, why is... Where's my license plate, buddy? Why am I having to buy a new one? Man, we all know Avery rules. That's just how it's supposed to be spelled. Gotta be in bright red. I want people to see it. Well, let's get our designs down. Where am I putting in this? Oil. Oil, oil, oil. Hmm. John Deere Yellow? No, thank you, homie. I mean, that's not really yellow. I mean, if they had more of a golden color, like a, you know, not. It's not yellow, right? 
No, that's yellow. That's yellow. I don't care. That to me, that's yellow. Oh, better, 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 better. All right, let's um. Azul. Couldn't just say blue. Design. Oh, the designs are just like, um, oh, wrong one, man. That's not where I wanted that color to go. Yeah, the designs are just like if that. Like to help the channel, I don't have, donations are there, that's all I've got are those two for designs. Hey, I'll, I'll leave that on there. I, I can always change it. Douche. I think my guy is good, man. I make more money than I spend. Honestly, I mean, I can't really say that. I mean, I spend equal. I e I spend my money equally. I make it in, I spend it out. Catch that bad boy. Let's go get a trailer. Let's go see what kind of oils we got saved up. God, I love the sound of that. I know what it feels like to be sitting in the passenger seat of one of these bad boys. going on you guys how y'all doing today appreciate everybody that stopped by man hey if you guys ain't done it yet man hit that like help me out aiming for 10 likes man aiming for 10 likes on every live stream we do yeah i know only 10 not a lot that's what we aiming for coming in buddy I'm, I'm on a full send, man. My dude's on a mission. Get on that little knobby. Got a trailer on there. We gotta act like it's there, you guys. Gotta go a little wide. I love the sound of the horn, man. So what's everybody doing today, man? What you guys doing? What's up? Nearly full. Grain tank, 80%. Uh, right side? Open? Perfect. Want to get it as close as possible, but yet at the same time, keep it out of the way of my dumping spot because I absolutely hate this stupid trailer I got for my tractor. Should have been 
I should have been a little bit brighter on that. Like, I don't like those tractor trailers that are like tandem or whatever they call them, where they can go any which way they want. Right there, works for me. Let's turn on the auto load. There we go. Got to put that oil somewhere, yeah. Ooh, I gotta remember to buy a sprayer, man. My truck gets dirty. Try to load it up, fellas. Hey, I'm just in the box a little bit. That's not bad compared to where. Wait, is it all is it done? Thirteen thousand liters in the truck. Either way, that's pretty good. Yeah, I forgot. He said he was nearly full, didn't he? They get amused by the simple things, fellas. Like seeing so many people in the chat. Or at least in the stream. How y'all doing? Hopefully you're all having a great day. I know I am, man. I'm having a blast. We're we're harvesting our canola. We're going to be harvesting our sunflowers and our olives next. So we're getting we're getting three harvests in, in the stream today. Well, you know what I mean by harvest wise. We got the canola, sunflowers, olive. Three different harvests. And he's going to run that, and then that should fill me up. Hopefully it'll fill me up, and I ain't got to worry about going to dump it. Because I'm honestly, I'm thinking, I want to see where I'm sitting. Go figure. I knew that was coming. We just have to automatically assume, you guys, anytime I jump into that screen, that's going to happen. <laughs> I've, I've come to that conclusion. It's going to happen for me no matter what. So, as I was saying, I've got 42,000 liters in here. I could just put this set of canola oil, I, or canola, I could put it up, right? I could put it up. Or, or I could wait for the sunflowers to be done, and then we could dump all the sunflower seeds in there. And hope, hope that it's rather close to each other. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna stop the canola oil for right now, because if I don't, if I if I don't, it'll slowly, r r you know, run that out. But I did increase my sunflower field this time around. So now instead of just one, we've got three. I know we went from we went from one to three, you guys, insane, right? But eventually the canola will do the same. The olives, I don't know, man. At at almost seven hundred thousand, I spent out to uh, put the olive fields in. Dude, if I have, if you guys, if I have. If I have to, what do you call it, harvest them and then turn around and pay again to replant them, I'll never grow olives again. Ever. Never, ever. I no joke. Dude, are you kidding? 
You stuck on my little tractor, dude? Come on, man. He ain't doing nothing. Look at that. Big, the big, mean John Deere is pushing around the little green dude. Just because it's not a deer. It's not the same color green. Well, it's, I mean, it's looking pretty close. God, he's so mean. Look at him. Just pushing me out. Dude, he better keep going. We'll do this while he's finishing off. He'll be done in a minute. Oh! Don't tell the owner. You know what? Let's go like this. Come on. Come on, let me use you as like a pivot. Oh, man, come on. You know what I was trying to do with it, right? I wanted to use it like a little pivot and just kind of like hit it and then kind of try to spin around it, you know? Like I said, we'll be we'll be removing all these trees here shortly. Well, eventually. They will eventually go. What's going on? How are you doing? You can get one of those with a hitch to pull the quick baler to make silage bales. Okay, the quick baler. Well, I got the, um, I got one baler. I, I don't know which baler it is that I've got. I don't, I don't think it's the one that works with this. But yeah, that would, I was thinking about that, honestly, the other day on stream when I was playing with it. I was... I was thinking to myself, man, it'd be cool to be able to pull this thing. You know, be able to pull a baler with it. But there's a baler I can actually use with it. I am down. Okay, that that, that god dang helicopter, man. Like, he, he really needs to quit doing flybys on me, man. I'm not doing nothing illegal here. I'm just out in the middle of nowhere just trying to be a farmer, man. government's always flying their helis over like they're gonna like they're gonna catch me doing something illegal out here like that that works oh yeah he did I didn't even see the thing where it said that he was done did you guys I wasn't paying attention no literally I wasn't paying no attention at all once I start doing something like this I kinda I'm not going to lie, I kind of lose track of some of the other stuff that I was doing. And it's like, oh yeah, that's right, I was, wasn't I? Hmm. That's how it works.
Ooh. Near miss. I can work with it just like this because then I can round this edge off like I've been wanting to. Start getting a little bit of roundness to it, I'll be alright. I should have kept that wind rower, that would have come in handy right now. Put these all super close. I'm a terrible driver. With this thing, for sure. Get a lot of silage out of this, though we will. We'll get enough silage. I mean, there's going to be plenty to... Plenty to fill that, uh silage barn up. I need to actually put in a barn where I can have a spot for all this stuff. Instead of that big open one I got out there. And you guys that are on PC, man, if you guys have that that wheel and the joystick or anything like that, you guys are lucky. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one last pass real quick, you guys, and then I'll jump back over and we'll uh, we'll empty out the uh, canola real quick, and then I'll uh, throw some of the stuff up in bales. I just wanted to get some of it done. You know what I mean? I'm a I'm a one man farming team over here. Plenty of room though. Got room for like five people. Honestly. But if I can find two people that can be dedicated to uh, wanting to join up and, you know, play on a uh, daily basis, you know, from like noon to four my time, that'd be sweet. Definitely looking for extra hands, man, extra hands. Ooh. I didn't want to hit that tree. I'm trying to go around him. I don't want to miss all that. No, a tree. It's all up in my way. You know what? Oh, that could have worked. 
if I could have hit it just right, maybe spun right around it. See, see, that's what I was trying to do. And then I'll spin right off from it, just like that. Yes, that actually worked out the way I wanted it to. Minus the fact that we did miss a little spot there in the grass. Which, I actually have a tree that I cut like that, that I cut around like that here at my house in real life. And same thing happens with my mower, so. <laughs> Can't always expect it to be the best. These trees will come out, though. And then you get this spot, man. Like, what is this? I'm just glad this mower is blowing it all to the center right now. I couldn't figure out how to set it up that way, but the kid that was playing with me there the other day, that kid, he was able to figure it out and got it. So, man, I was, I was having an issue with it. That He's been playing this game forever, too, so... Man, I get one good s beginning and I mess it up anyway. Okay, I said I was going to stop. I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. My bad. Let's go. I'm terrible, sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's all got to be done anyway. Eventually, you guys are going to see it. Ooh, 89%. What? I wonder what he's going to give me. How much you guys think I'm going to get out of him? He has completed his task. He is done. Sixteen percent. Yeah, I don't think my trailer's gonna... Yeah, it does. Jeesh, nice. Very nice, honestly. It's gonna be 60,000 liters, you guys. Let's let's go dump 60,000 liters. You know what, we're just gonna dump it right in the... We're gonna dump it right in the store. That there, we'll use that once we get it to the point that we're filling the the oil sh the oil shop up. Which, I mean, I don't know how much it's going to take to fill the oil the oil shop up. I mean, I'm hoping the sunflowers, the amount of sunflower I have, I'm hoping it honestly does overdo it. I really, I am. I mean, that's not a bad thing, right? Like, I mean, oh, really? Man. How you go off and do something like that, man? You done just... Man, hopefully nobody was here, man. They didn't see that. Jesus. We just smacked right in the corner of that factory, dude. You guys, we just messed up a bunch of stuff. Bet. Look at that. 60,000 liters. And we're only... Halfway. So... If I put in... Another field, the same size as the one that I've got now. Wow. That's insane. I put another one in equal size of a piece of property. We could easily fill that up and have enough oil cranking out. So... Hmm. <laughs> well, that's done. I guess I could. See, now, I'm not sure if... Like we were talking a little bit ago about the baler-wise. I don't know if... I don't know if my baler that I have is... One that can be pulled behind the thing. It's a New Holland, though. So that's the thing. Is I don't know if it can be... 
I don't even know if it can be pulled behind the... No, I don't think mine can. I think I tried and it wouldn't. We're going to park him right here for now. Just because... Whoa, stop, stop. Jeez, buddy. You wanted to ram right in that pole, man. It'll be a bad day for everybody. All right. Yeah, because I don't think my lawn, my lawn, or my mower will will pull that one. I'm curious what. I'm gonna go look at the lawn mower and see if I can't. Right there he is. See now, why doesn't it show me anything that's compatible with that? I don't think mine is. There it is. Uh, fold up, buddy. We gotta go check something real quick. I don't think you're compatible with it, but... You might be, man. You might be. Ah, oh, it'd be cool. Base game one doesn't have it. Oh, it don't. Bummer. That sucks. I was gonna say, cause if this thing could hook up, man, I'd be, I'd be down. But I think this guy's got a ball hitch. Cause I think I checked it before. Yeah, I see. He's got a, he's got a ball hitch and runs on that. So, yeah. Hey, that's, I had to, I had to take a look, man. You know what I mean? I had, I had to check. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the stream. How y'all doing? Hey, you guys hit that like yet? If not, man, make sure you guys do that. Share it out, man. Tell everybody to come hit that sub. We're on our way, man. I'm aiming for 950 and then 1,000. Yeah. I'll have to look into it. I'll, I'll look through the mod list later. That'd be, because that would be nice to be able to haul one behind it while, and bail at the same time. I mean, does it make, will it make those size bales? If it makes those size bales, bud, I'm down. And, oh, wait. I gotta, I gotta do canola, don't I? Canola comes out. We gotta turn right around like the next frickin' month to plan it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. One hundred and eighty centimeters. I mean, I can I can wait and plant in September. But then it's ready in August. But then that gives me three months of chillaxing time and or mowing fields in between time frame. Hmm. See, because I'm always trying to plant right at the very beginning. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because uh, either way, I'm going to have to. Till all this, uh, well, cultivate it all. Some of it needs lime. Some of it doesn't. I honest, no. Yeah, I probably. 
Honestly, I could add on to it and bring the canola over to the hill. Like, okay, I got all canola right here, right? So if I decided, which I'm not a big fan of crossing this white line that's on the map, but I did. I did, so I'm not going to try to fix it. I'm lame. I'm not going to fix it. So what I'm thinking is, I got OCD issues, sorry guys. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to bring it all the way over, you know, keep it even with itself, but bring it over to here, right, over to where the hill starts, because I'm not, I'm not looking to mess with a lot of terrain change. So maybe to that tree, you know, bring it over to the tree. That's, that's, well, up here, but over to that tree. That's, I mean, that's, that's a, that's a pretty big, that's a pretty big addition, right? I mean, if we bring it out to there, and we bring it all the way over to right here, I think that, I think that'll be a pretty good addition, because then I can take it straight up and past the rock, and I can just, I hate that rock being there, I can't break it, I can't get rid of it. So dumb. But, you know what I mean? It'd be a lot more canola. And then I still have all my grass over here and my little play play place for a ramp and maybe a little oval track. <laughs> I want to build a racetrack, you guys. I really do. I'm going to have... I could have so much fun with this game. I love to build stuff. I love to do... I used to love doing, uh, like, uh, live stream builds over on, uh, um... Fallout 4, when I was playing that, I loved doing the, I loved building over there. It was a blast. Oh, that's right, I re-downloaded my thingy. But I, I don't remember which one it is, the, the, the hay and bale, bale thing, it gives me the counter thing. That helps me out so much. Especially when it tells me how many that I've done. Try the sorting tool. Oh, the softening tool? Yeah. That's what I've, um... Oh, I gotta turn this beast on. That's what I've, uh, been using to, um... To help, uh... Help me with my stuff. I gotta lower it. Come on, man. There we go. Sitting here... Watching and... Chat and talking more than I am anything. Um... No, I do. I've been using the softening. I've been, I've been learning how to... To blend the terrain and... Stuff like that, so yeah, I, I've been I've been playing with it over on like I call it disposable maps because I can just go over there, I can mess around with it, get the feel of how the stuff works, and then I can just delete it. You know what I mean? Trial and error. That way, I'm not messing up my streaming map when I'm building or stuff like that. Now, like, when I first started playing, you know, when I first started streaming it, there at the beginning of October, I was just messing with it in general, you know, right there during stream, trying to figure it out. And then off stream, I messed with it more to actually get to where I wanted to be with it, but... Yeah, I'm getting better with it. Definitely getting better with it. Ooh, one bale out of that whole row, man. Now, if this would have been plowed and stuff, that would have been more than one bale, you guys. A lot of rocks aren't he rocks. Yeah, that's... That's what gets me on here, like, can I use, like, a bulldozer or something and pull up to them and, like, to remove them? Because I don't want to chop that sign down just to, you know what I mean? I, that just seems so lame. I don't want to cut that, that sign down to remove all the rocks, you know what I mean? I'd much rather just buy a bulldozer, use the bulldozer to clear out the zone if I need to, you know? How's everybody doing anyway? You guys all having a great night or day? Like what 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 you guys got going on, man? This is Wednesday too. 
This is my last day of the week streaming, at least until Friday night, Fortnite. So. And then tomorrow, you guys, from tomorrow from noon to 2, if you guys play this game and you have Platinum and the Premium DLC, you know, the second year pass, stuff like that, and you guys would like to become a part of the stream in the future, you know, you guys would end up coming in on this one, obviously. But if you guys want to, between noon and two tomorrow, I'll be on an Elm Creek, one of my Elm Creek maps, just chilling. So if you guys want to do something, you know what I mean? You guys want to get in on it? That's going to be the way to do it. And make sure you guys are subbed to the channel and on my Discord. Because that's where I'll be letting you guys know that I'm on there. Because that's where I'll be posting the password to. I don't want a bunch of just randoms joining that I don't know, you know, that we've never, never talked with, man. I don't want someone coming and messing my stuff up. Ooh, come on, come on, cut her close, buddy, cut her close. Oh. Just a second, you guys.
All right, sorry about that, you guys. I had somebody stop by the house real quick. Sometimes you get them people that stop unannounced. You know what I mean? Not a bad thing, I just wasn't expecting it. I'm coming back. I don't want to leave all this stuff behind. A less mess to clean up later. Oh yeah, we're getting the bales down though, I'm telling you what, got 10 bales done already, that's actually, oh, I mean, like I said, after it's all mowed and all been done and everything, you know what I mean, we'll, we'll get some good, we'll get some bales out of her, we'll be able to. Pack them and stack them. Get them packed up, get them stacked away, let them silage out. Make that money. Yeah, we'll get it all eventually, guys. And whatever we don't get, we'll just eventually get tilled in and plowed up, you know what I mean? So. Put it right into its first layer of fertilizer, you know what I mean? Every little bit's got to help out somewhere. Can't let it be a lost cause. See now eventually I'll have this all done up, it'll be easy, won't be a bunch of curves, won't have to be worried about watching for trees. It's 
See, I did not realize I could mow onto other property like that. Like, I mean, I, I knew that the the bl the side could get over a little bit, but I clearly went over quite a bit for that stuff. <clears throat> Considering I couldn't pick it up. So I seen my our uh, the farmer down the road. I noticed yesterday when we ran to the store. I noticed the the farmers are doing something I've never seen them do around here. Like I mean, I know that in game we can you know bail up like stuff from off the cornfield and whatnot, right? Well, they went through and I guess they, but I don't know what they did to the corn. They they chopped it all off right at the top, you know, right where the ears of corn start they chopped it from there up off for the ears of corn and then they went through with a baler and they uh, bailed it all up it's the first time I've ever seen them uh, bail up the uh, residuals of the corn like that it was pretty cool though I was like wow man that is awesome I you know <clears throat> I never would have thought nothing of it but when I drove through there last week, you know, it was all corn as high as the eye could see and 12 foot tall stalks, you know. And now today there's just big old round silage bales out there. Big old. Is that what corn turns into? Well, like when you, uh, when you uh, bale the corn stalk like that, it turns into a silage, right? Or a chaff or whatever they call it. Either way, it looked pretty, it was pretty cool, man. I've never seen the farmers around here do that before. A lot of them, the one down the road, they just blow all the stuff into a truck and then they uh, put it in a silage pit down the road. And they run on it. Nice big old dozer. Ooh. Sound like the tractor wanted to kick down for a second there. gonna be telling you once this is all done and I get it all turned into a big huge field that I can just let the AIs go out go off on it's gonna be a lot of grass <clears throat> Yeah, once this is all, like I said, it's all said and done, it's all turned into a big grass field. Well, not this part where we're at right here. This will all become canola and connect to that. But <clears throat> it's going to produce us so much. 
And that's exactly what I want, man. I want to be able to fill a barn like that over there that you see in the background. I want to be able to fill that thing right up in one run, you know? Like two, three hundred bales, man. Like crazy. Oh, we're so close to being in my way. Once I get these all bailed up, you guys, I'll speed time up so that we can get to the um, the fun stuff. I mean, I still, I still have to get. You know what? While I'm thinking it, right? While I'm thinking of it. Cultivator, right there it is. Let's pull that bad boy out. We used the little blue dudes to pull that stuff out, you guys. Okay, rake. Or, well, not a rake, a weeder. Weeder, weeder. This is the guy we want right here. Stop. Wrong pedal. Bring this marvelous, marvelous little tool out here. Oh. Back up. Okay, this is one of the other ones. This isn't my one that's been refurbished. That's the guy up over there that I'm using to pick stuff up with. Unfold the cultivator. Now, this is a shallow cultivator, so this one should make seed bed. Oh, you know what? I got a... Almost. Give me a second. Give me a second. I. Yeah, you can't. I, I can't be doing that. I should probably. M should I mulch it or just cultivate it, you guys? What do you think? Mulch or cultivate? I feel like if I mulch it, no, if I mulch it, that becomes a form of fertilizer, and then I can cultivate it in. <clears throat> never mind, never mind, I'm thinking to myself. I'm talking out loud now. Happens. We got this. What you guys doing? What's up? Mulch it first, and then cultivate it. There it is. Honestly, being that it's getting this big, you know, the uh, fields are getting this big, I need, I need another cultivator, or another, uh, well, yeah, another cultivator, and another one of these, a second one, that could come in handy to actually, you know what I mean? Because as the, as the fields get bigger, and the field, the days get longer, we're going to need more stuff to run it. And he pulls it so slowly. But we're going to make so much money that it's not even going to be funny. Let's go put our little harvester away. We're going to it's going to need to be put up for a minute. Yeah, I should I should uh, yeah, I think I should 
Man, I had a coin around here somewhere. I'll do a, I'll do a, I'll do a coin flip to decide if I buy another. Nah. Heck with it. We got money. But we'll just buy one. See, I got all this area over here yet that I can hit with the mower. Man, we could, we could, we could mow everything, man. We could have, we could have silage bales for weeks. I don't have any cows, so I ain't got to worry about feeding cows any silage bales. right there. Oh, my steering wheel slightly turned. No wonder. I'm like, man, why is that thing cruising? Is that what I want? Yeah, I want mulchers, right? Yes. Got that guy. Oh, wow, look at this dude. Six meters, eight point nine meters. Ooh. Oh, twelve point two meters. Look at that thing. And yes, animals got the money. Wow. That could help get stuff done. How do you guys, how do you say that? Someone drop it in the comment section for me so it can pronounce that. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's horse, horse. Kind of like Porsche, but horse, right? God, I, I hope I'm saying that wrong. That's, that's massive though. Twelve point two meters. Two hundred and seventy horsepower. Will my will my Johnny pull that? I think my Johnny will pull that. Alright. Hi, bye. Seen someone come and go. That happens. Oh hey, there was an equipment design. For an extra thousand bucks I get a the heck is that thing? Yeah, meh. I better make sure my Johnny can pull that. It's, I mean, it's 270. If Johnny can't pull it, I know someone that can. Yeah, we do. Ooh, 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 ooh! Look at the tractors. Hey, I could buy a second John Deere, man. We could have two of them. I mean, I'm, my dude's rich, but we ain't that rich. Calm down, animal. I mean, these are some nice tractors, though. Hey, yeah, they are. I'm getting off track. I was looking at something. Why, dang it. Three oh five, okay. I just wanted to make sure I was well up there on my weight, you know what I mean? The the horsepower for pulling. I could I could go and grab it with something else, but eh, it's gonna be hooked to him. He's gonna be doing the big job. And that'll come in so much handier when we have because we got two fields. 
three fields technically now of sunflower. As you see, we got that's field number two. And then over here on the other side of my almost seven hundred thousand uh, dollar plot of olives are is a third sunflower field. So, like I said, my farm's growing. My dude's got his own farming empire out here. He's the only only guy out here. You know what I mean? So he's monopolizing on the, the three the three food groups right now. Olives are tasty too, though. I love olives. But I do think. Well, Saturday's stream. Let's 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 start off with Saturday's stream. Okay, let me before I say anything else. Saturday's stream being that we will be back over for this Saturday afternoon, starting at 8 p.m. my time. Mind you, it's three o'clock my time right now. If you're in a different time zone, that way you kind of can figure it out later because I'm not the mom or daddy. It's not my job. <laughs> But, uh, Saturday, I'm going to go back to, um, we're going to go over to the Zalanka map, and we are going to give red beets and parsnips a, a go at it, because yesterday morning, we were on Zalanka, and I tried carrots. Gave carrots a go. Not bad. Not not my favorite crop to try. They were... I, I Me, personally, I felt like the price was a little bit too low for it. Compared to some of the other stuff that we deal with, you know? Like, I just felt like maybe there should be a price change. Maybe they should change it up a little bit. I don't know. But, um... We're going to give the uh, parsnips and red beets a try Saturday night for Zelanka. And then Sunday night. I haven't decided what I want to do for a stream Sunday night. Since we beat RoboCop last night. I don't know what, I, I honestly expected it was going to take me a little bit longer, but yeah, we, we beat RoboCop last night. That was exciting too, man. That was a, that was an exhilarating battle. Fighting the owner of OCP. That's all I'm going to say. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check that battle out, the, that stream out, or video out from yesterday. It was it was a blast. I had I had fun with it. It was it was definitely it was definitely a great game. If you guys are into RoboCop, check it out. Freaking awesome. That's all I can say. Awesome. See, look, I'm glad I bought this. Look at that. That dude's still way up there. Holy moly. Look at it. I was in awe of it. I wasn't even paying attention, man. <laughs> thing is insane. All right, let's see if we'll get him running right here. He should yank this right through, too, like, without a problem. Get him working on this. He, he's up there with his little mulcher doing his thing. I'm down here with my little mulcher doing my thing. Got the guy up there with the cultivator ready to go. And this is just a mulcher. Oh, dang. Too bad there ain't a hookup for it. We could run a cultivator behind it. 
Maybe the... You're kidding me. I'm glad we didn't hop off him. Ay, <sighs> what a weena. Just crank her tight one real quick. Fix a lot of this for him because he ain't going to catch a lot of this through here. I know he's not going to catch any of it, really. I'm going to lift that roller back up. You know what? I actually want to pull this roller for a little bit. Or not roller. Jesus. You guys know what I'm at. Definitely don't want to catch my uh, grass out there, man. This thing will erase that stuff like it's nothing. Mulcher is massive. Love it. Yeah, this thing... He's going to eat this alive. We're going to let him go. I mean, with what little bit he's already got up there done. Yeah. I think this is a good investment right here. Going to have to start buying bigger tractors, man. It's going to It's going to start getting a little rough down on the farm. And there's nothing to get in your way, so just spin it around. He could drop it right there and then just go, and I'd be all right with it. I would. He's like, oh, he already got this spot, so... I want to hop over to the other one, man. I want to see how much... And that's how much he's got done with that. What's this New Holland make for power? It only takes 270 horsepower to pull that uh, big mulcher. Yeah, I'm... I'm having the thoughts of selling. Because, yeah, he could pull that easy and still have a little oomph. I, I, I boosted him up a little bit. Felt sorry for him. It was a little, little doggy on me. And I could buy another one and then Have my my bigger one pull that. I'm just trying to think of how I can get get them to get through this stuff quick, you guys. Because the quicker we get through the stuff, the quicker we can flip it over and. What did he do? What a little loser! It was morning. He didn't have his coffee in him yet. He thought he was good. That's something I would have done. Not gonna lie, like knock out, like ev like not no joke. I would have done that, especially if I had to be up at the crack by the dawn to do it. Probably find some words of encouragement etched into the frost on your windshield when you come out. 
you know. <laughs> That's uh It's just it's crazy because there he is. That's like a total of four passes, if anything, right? So what's he doing? <laughs> it's not me, you guys. He's on drugs, man. This guy is. What is he doing? Look at. You guys see in the top left corner it says dismiss AI worker. Okay. This is not me. <laughs> is he going to stop? Dude, he is. He has lost his. He done lost his mind. Wow. Fella done got me worried. I kind of want to just blow right up through there and catch all that because they don't generally do it. And that might not. You know what? And that's not going to help me none because, yeah, I know it's just, it's not going to help me none. I appreciate you guys all tuning in. Hey, if you guys haven't done it yet, man, if you can, hit that like. Help me out. I'll let him finish it. Like I said, we got other stuff we can be doing. Like I could be out mowing grass. I'm almost caught up to it over here, so. Oh, there it is. Sweet. What's going on, everybody? How you guys all doing? Is that the way that I want it to work, or no? So if it's not the way I want it to work, then I'm changing it. Okay, cool. There we go. How's everybody doing? Pretty slick, yeah. You've been used to that. It's 
So how's everybody's afternoon going, man? Come on. What you guys got going on? Just another tree that got in the way, look at that. There's a lot of trees over here really, and like I said, I gotta, I have to uh, chop them down. Probably just gonna bring the one mulcher over here because they're all real tiny trees, and I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna mess with them, so if I just, Oh, dang it, I hit it. But if I bring the one um, forestry mulcher over here, I can just, like I was saying, I can just knock them all down, mulch them up just to get them out of here. Except for these big guys like this guy here, man. He, he could be taken over to the uh, furniture store and be sold for lumber. Where are we at? Where are we at? Right here. Oh, that was... Pretty close, pretty close. This is all just getting used as silage, so, you know, just money in the bank, you know. That's what we need. Extra money in the bank. More money means more spending. We all know we could use a little bit more spending. Oh, crap. Really don't want to mess around with that tree on the next go around. I didn't want to I didn't want to make you guys sick with me continuously going around it to get off from there. My dude was kind of stuck on there. I wasn't off off from it far enough to start to spin honestly. Would have taken me a couple more turns just to have gotten off of there proper.
I got an odd odd shaped yard in, out here in front of my real house, so I know what it's like to have to mow around trees like this. Only because no matter which way I knock any of the trees down, one of them is bound to fall on my house. That's my luck. Very nice, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you guys, if I'm just sitting here chilling and I'm not talking, man, feel free to spark conversation up, you guys. Get a conversation going in chat, man. Let's find something to talk about. <laughs> It's almost done. Wonder how they're doing. They're doing all right. They're doing all right. It looks like. I'm more worried about how that one at the top of the field is doing. They never, ever do it right. So, more or less, I'm probably gonna get stuck doing something over there. Not a big deal. Oh yeah, nope, nope, can't do that. That just feels odd. Definitely cannot not use this mower in there like that. I mean, look at that. You guys seen how that looked, right? Like, I can't tell if I'm mowing anything proper. Like, what's that thing showing me in the mirror? Or what's that supposed to be over there to the right? What is that? That camera's not working. There ain't none back there. It just doesn't feel right to me. Could you guys handle mowing like that with this tractor? I mean, in real life, yeah, I could. As long as, you know, obviously everything worked. Oh. That's what I get. I really was not paying attention. But yeah, I mean, you know, if everything honestly worked, then yeah, I could get away with doing it, but... Considering that, that that camera on there that's showing the back the ground, no man, that doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. Be missing out. Not cool. Yeah, I, I'll tell you right now, I love having this mower over top of having just an extension piece for my uh, tractors. I mean, granted, I paid 300000 for this thing. But, I mean, overall, I mean, I think it's worth it. Now, there was, I mean, 
I will admit I could have bought a second one at like 45% off because one showed up in the uh, for sale thing like a year later in game, you know. So I was kind of disappointed with that. But, I mean, by the time that year had passed, I'd already used it like four times, so... I mean, it's almost paid for itself. Truthfully, it's a, it's a good little mower. $300,000. I got three quarters of an acre here myself, like in real life, to mow. So, this would be more than overkill. This would be like... sending the Terminator in to kill a flea, you know what I mean? There, it's all mowed down. Well, well, almost all mowed down. For what we can see anyway, and what we'll be able to get with our baler. But yeah, I'm going to definitely take uh, PCS's uh, advice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look in the uh, load order later and see about um, getting... the uh the one that we can tow behind this because if there's a baler i can tow behind this while i'm while i'm mowing and it can be bailing i i mean 180 centimeters i believe you said is what you said it bails out to so i mean oh wait There. There we go. Alright. They're probably doing a bad job. But let's not tell them that we know anything about it. Pretend like we don't know a thing. We're just going to go about our business over here. Oh, he got stuck in a spin. Okay, yeah, my, my dudes are on crack. Look at him. He's on drugs. Dude, it's okay, man. It's okay. You're just having withdrawals. Ugh. Gotta jump in there. Stop. Gotta slap some sense yes. into him. I'm working on carrots. Oh, man. Carrots suck, dude. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, you guys. Don't get me wrong. They don't suck. I I enjoyed I enjoyed I enjoyed doing them. I did. They were they're different, especially especially if you're using that little itty bitty thing. Oh man, is that itty bitty thing just? Oh, is it? It's just something else. But I enjoyed doing them. It was a little slow. I mean, the fact that you have to have an AI running the tractor for you to harvest it while you're in the tractor behind with a trailer to, you know, to capture everything, that kind of, that kind of sucks. It really does. In the learning. But, yeah, like you, oh, you watched the stream yesterday, didn't you, uh, PCS? I was learning yesterday, too. <laughs> yeah, you watched it. What am I saying? I, we, we talked a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, it's something else, man. I I enjoyed it, though. I really did. One of these days, we're going to have to get... We're going to have to team up together and jump in on a map. 
But yeah, I, I enjoyed the carrots. I really, like I said, Saturday night, we're going to do, we're going to try uh, parsnips and red beets, you guys, because we have to. We I mean, we just, we have to. So, yeah. They're almost done with it. Honestly, hmm. Once he's done with this pass, I'll have him come up here and catch his row up there. Oh, he didn't. No, man. I had hopes. I thought he went all the way to the end. I should have known. He's got to start at the opposite side. He's got to start over in that corner, going this way, going to the left, instead of the way that we started him. And these trees are going to have to get cut down. I wanted to leave the trees. I was actually going to put a little row of trees in the center to, div you know, to divide them and to make it look nice. But I need to square this off a little bit. I honestly... I know that it crosses over the line, but the bottom half of the field does too. So I may honestly just take it straight up a little bit further. And then cut it over. Makes no sense for me to remove field when I'm trying to add field. You know what I mean, you guys? So. Hey, you guys hit that like, man. Help me out. Let's, um... Oh, I was going to stop. If you like to help the channel, any donations are very much appreciated. But not expected, you guys. Dot me slash Kennedy 2188 to donate. Oh, yeah, he's easily got this in the last, in one pass. So this guy's going to have to get, we're going to have to, we're going to take over here in a second. We're going to grab the section here that he missed, and then we're going to go up and get the top half. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be uh, selling, well, I'm, I mean, I may not sell it, because we're going to put another barn in and everything, you guys, so, and if you guys are enjoying the stream, man, make sure you guys stick around, because I've got a lot going on tonight, or today. Today is my last stream for the week, until Friday night, Fortnite. so, I'm going to be here all night. Oh, he didn't stop? He's gonna come right up behind me, dude. No, dude. Now you're costing me money. Hop out, hop out, hop out, hop out. Stop. Do, do, do. We're going to send him off that way. We're going to use him to finish up. See, now this, being that it's a mulcher, should get rid of that brush, man. That is uncalled for. Uncool, man. Uncool. Alright, let's go up here and grab this. But yeah, we're going to have to clean some trees out over here. Because like I said, I wanna, I'm going to have this all wrap right around and hook into each other. So...
It's all about lower the roller. Alright, so I'm going to send the cultivator across it next. Look at that thing fold up. Ah, oh, man. Forget, you gotta be in it. Continuously. Which is understandable, I guess. Don't want to get somebody hurt. Come on, Mr. 275. I'm going to keep an eye on you to make sure you go all the way to the end and back. I'm going to need to lime the field. <sighs> yeah, just one little spot that needs to be limed. I'm going to make sure he goes all the way to the end and turns around does what he's supposed to do first before I go continue on with my, uh, our bailing of the hay. I was going to say, if you back up right now, man, I'm done. I have to restart you. Perfect. Let's go drop our new toy off. Whoa! Remind me, I gotta remove that stuff later. I should just cut these trees down. I and mean, I'm trying to get everything to, honestly, I like to have it all running. All one direction. Short way doesn't really work anymore when we're making them all longer. See, now that's another thing. Is right here where this barn's at, that's gonna end up uh, moving. Because if I put grass and everything over there, I'm going to move all my grass stuff over there. All my hay stuff over there. But I don't feel like I should be bringing this over here to put it when this is all... You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I need an actual barn. I need actual everything right over that way, like... Right? Like, I mean, if I'm not doing it here, I shouldn't have to be transporting it all the way over here. I don't think so. I think it should be... I think, I, I think I'm about right with the way I'm looking at it, I think. Good enough for me, anyway. Doesn't need to be here. I'm going to put this in here, though. right now till I decide what I'm doing like then this will eventually all become part of the field come a little bit bigger you know what I mean no don't hook don't hook my bad wrong button some wood for it, eh? Well, I mean, it's it's understandable. 
It is understandable for right now. Yeah, because what, in August I said the canola's got to go back in? So that means if I want it to go around, wrap around and everything, I'm going to have to get everything else over here and get the trees chopped down. That'll have to, that'll have to be on the next season of uh, canola. Because right now, nothing needs to be limed except for the small piece in the center. Which, if I don't lime it, I'm not sure as to what will happen. I don't know what that does if I don't lime it, other than add, uh, you know, um, fertilizer, a fertilizer state or something to it. Or a yield growth. I'm not sure which one it is. But... I want them to all be limed at the same time. Hello, Turtle Killer. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? But yeah, I'm just... Uh, I want to be able to have them all getting limed at the same time. That way it's just so much easier, you know what I mean? Because as it is right now, I have them... Even if only part of it needs limed, I have them do the full field. So... Which isn't helping anything at all. Uh, nor near. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Yep, doing doing pretty good actually. Uh, been increasing the size of my field over here in no man's land. We've got a almost a seven, a six hundred and some thousand dollar uh, olive field. Yeah, I said that. That's that's big. That's big money right there. There's 600, almost 600 and, well, almost, if we round it up, just round it straight up, because it's close enough, it'd be 700,000, because it was uh, 26,570 for all these lo these full long rows. So it cost me a lot. It cost me a lot of money to put this stuff in, man. Like, insane amount of money to put this in. So I'm waiting to see some olives. Ah, oh, dang it. Waiting to see the little, the little green gay, little green guys pop on here. Oh, man, if they're not green, maybe they're little black olives. Black olives are all right. Not a lot of people like the flavor of black olives, but I do. They're okay. And then I got more sunflower over here, as I said. Yep, it's, uh, we've been going crazy on this, uh, this here piece of land. I plan on buying that spot, like I said. I'm going to put in some more businesses and stuff. Yeah, we, we're doing pretty good, man. We're, we're doing pretty good. do appreciate you guys all tuning in. Make sure you guys hit that like, though. Trying to break 10 likes. Oh, they're all just green? They're green olives? Okay, that's fine. I got a bunch of green olives downstairs in the refrigerator. I should be eating them. They're delicious. I love olives. God, do I love olives. Thirteen thousand liters. Oh. I forgot I turned that off. I was like, man, why is it not making anything? I forgot I stopped it because um, we're going to be doing uh, this. But I need to get the field all worked and ready. You know, and get it all ready for the canola because canola, man, I really don't want to skip the the month of it. I'd much rather stay on my schedule of getting it done at the at the very first part of the month each month that they're uh, able to either be planted or harvested. You know what I mean? Hello, you guys. Welcome to the stream. This is a real stream. I will talk to you. All you gotta do is say hi.
But yeah. I just like giving people crap. Don't take no offense to it, you guys. We're walking. I know. I could be jumping back and forth. But how realistic is that? Teleportation. I'm not Nightcrawler from X-Men. I told you there's nothing illegal going on here. Quit checking. Spain's like, Oh man, there's an American out there. He's he's farming, we gotta keep an eye on him. France is like, Ooh wee, there's another he's out there, keep an eye, you know? They just keep an eye on me. Make sure I don't do nothing crazy. I'm gonna plant super canola. We're going to take over their canola industry, man. <laughs> it's cool to see the little helicopters flying through there like that, though. That's awesome. Got to have a sense of imagination, right? Got to, man. Got to if you're streamer. Packing them bales in. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing? Man, I need to get one of those simulator uh, seat things, man. Like, I'm going to order one anyway, probably here, either December or January. A uh, simulator seat setup. Because, yeah, dude, I, I need to be, I need a nice, a nice chair. Because what I'm using right now sucks. I had these really cool um, seats for my pontoon that I could have used, but they came out missing. They're not where all my old junk used to be. Well, it's not junk. I used to work for a boat manufacturer. I used to uh, manufacture pontoon boats well, with a company. I, I used to build the boats, frame the boats and everything. I used to be their, the fastest framer, so I was able... They let me buy a, bon, a pontoon boat in a package, and I had to build it myself. But they had some uh, old... Um, uh, what was it called? Ducks Unlimited seats that were... Um, what do you call them? They were... Uh, they were old, they were out of date, whatever you call that. Like they were old. They were they were last year's model or whatever. So I bought them and I went I put my pontoon boat together, went to go grab them. And mind you, they were there, you know, I had everything set out so I knew where everything was at. And someone done stole them on me, man. I was like, oh dang. And they were what were they? They were a hundred and hundred and forty dollars a piece if you wanted to buy them you know like like if you wanted to go to the store or order them through the, sh the shop where I built the pontoons at it cost you like 140 bucks to, to buy them yeah someone just up and stole that crap man I didn't even have it sitting in the barn for it wasn't even there for a week 
Never even got to use them. That was a disappointment. But yeah, the, one of those seats would have came in real handy for sitting here like this for the stream. They were super comfy. Where's my bale? Right there is my wrapper. You need to sell some bales. Sorry, buddy, I'm not selling none. What was that? That was only at 31, man. That wasn't even very... That wasn't even a good number. Kind of disappointed in that. Well, we'll get them bailed up. We'll get them picked up. We'll get them out of there. I don't know why it was telling me that. I got so much more to go. I'm glad I don't got to pay for the wrap on this, man. That would be expensive. I bet you if I had that precision deal, or that precision mod, I would probably need to buy it. I just have a funny feeling that that would happen to me. So, uh, PCS, what are you, uh, what are you thinking of the, uh, new DLC so far? Are you enjoying it? Do you like the new map, or, or no? I mean, I haven't really explored it, but, I mean, you, you, you seen me yesterday. I got ten of the golden apples. That was, I was pretty dedicated to looking for those, though, wasn't I? I mean, in 20 minutes, I found ten of them. 30 minutes, I found ten of them. I could probably find all 40 of them in a single stream if I really wanted to. I may just end up doing that one of these days, do just a little tiny stream where we just go over there and that's all we do is go and look for apples all night. Try to find all 40 of them. Because, you know, there's people out there that are looking for them, right? There's got to be. I had a lot of people stopping in today, man. Hopefully you guys are all doing good. They're not considered uh, bales anymore now, right? Now they're considered silage. So should I be able to make more bales now? <laughs> I'm actually going to bring these over here to drop them off. Cause I'm going to swing over here and pick them up here in a little bit.
I mean, I wouldn't say they're overwrapping them, that's for sure. Uh, let's get this over here. Try to get it over here anyway. What's going on? Not much, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I was th I was contemplating doing another uh, playthrough of RoboCop, but on a harder difficulty to see what happens. I expected that we'd unlock something cool from beating it and everything. We didn't unlock nothing. That was kind of a disappointment because that's that was something I was kind of expecting that after we beat it, we'd get something unlocked, right? I mean, the trophies are cool. I love I love I love getting trophies. Trophies, achievements, whatever they might be, I like getting them. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but yeah, that was a pretty epic game. I noticed that one, uh, the dock, he was... He was streaming it yesterday night too, I guess. He just started playing yesterday. He got quite a ways got quite the ways through it. But he wasn't putting a whole lot of effort. I was I was watching him. I love watching the doc play games and whatnot. But I don't know. His 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 outlook on the way he was playing that game was he was like If he was RoboCop, you wouldn't want him to save you. You know what I mean? You'd be like, no, stay away. You're going to ruin my day. Like, that's the way he was with the character. I was just like, wow. That was a, that was a cool take on, take on playing as RoboCop, the way he was going, though. He was like... Like, you know how, like how RoboCop is like the Boy Scout, you know, in the movies and stuff? Like, imagine him just a total dink bag. <laughs> I can't wait to see when he gets the uh, the cut the boss fights. I I missed his Ed two hundred nine boss fight last night, so I got to go back and watch that. Hopefully it was hopefully he did pretty pretty cool with it. I'm curious as to how many times he died before he got it right. I know I died three or four times with, three times with Ed 209 before I got it right. That thing messed me up pretty bad. But that main boss, the, the boss from last night, oh, dude. I think I tried that five, six times. And then today I got up. And I logged on because I wanted to see if I unlocked anything, you know. And it said that I didn't beat him, so I had to beat him again. And I, it took me like 10 minutes to beat him. 15 minutes to beat him this morning. Compared to the half hour it took last night on stream. I just, I knew what I needed to do. So I just went in and... Wiped the floor with him real quick just to get it in. It still gave me nothing. I was like, man. But that's an aw that's an awesome game, and every everything you do in that game, like, messes with the outcome of the game, like with how like with how the end of the game goes, you know, like the ending. So I'm gonna play through it again, and I'm actually gonna choose to side with 
I'm going to have to play it through two more times because I want to side with each one of the, the, the mayor and the one that's running to become mayor. I'm going to side with both of them. You know, I want to I see how it turns out. And when I do that, I'll actually post those end pieces because I don't think it's going to affect the rest of the game, honestly. I think the rest of the game is going to play out identical to the, the way it did. Because it seems like... If you watch my uh, little, because I had to re, you know, the stream crashed on me last night for some reason. I'm not sure why. So I had to hurry up and hit the record button to try to catch it. But I actually, you know, I beat, I beat him. But then I had to actually save him. I actually, it gives you a choice to either save the old man or let him die. And I save him, and just as I save him, the building collapses on me, and he actually pushes me out of the way and ends up dying anyway. So it's, it's really cool, man. It's a really cool game. I love the ending. Like it's like you got you gotta you gotta see it. Like every action has a reaction type thing. It's awesome. I think there's like four or five different endings. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna play through it to get each ending. I don't think there's I think there's a hidden trophy for it, but I don't know. We get these all bailed up. I can pick them up. I can go dump them. I've got to find a. I got to find a new place where I can set these. I mean, I bought all of 25, 15. So, I mean, there should be somewhere that I can set them. I mean, 26 does have a little concrete pad area. But that's just my problem. Is I don't really want to buy spot 26 yet. I mean, if I do, like I said, I, I could put a, a barn on it, a pole barn or a building of sort, something. But I got to have money coming in first, man. I got I to gotta make more money. See, I'm going to have to remove all these trees, too. I'm not going to mess with all that. Yeah, we got, like I said, you guys, we got a lot of stuff going on, man. So make sure you guys hit that like and share it with everybody, man. Tell them all to come check it out. Oh no. We're good, we're good, we're good. Computer program still running. We got this. Swing around. I'm just trying to get all these bailed ups or wrapped so we can get them out of here. There was 31 of them. If I can get these out of here real quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Which one am I grabbing? Which one am I grabbing? That one. Right there we go. 
get these all wrapped, get them picked up. It says that I got to sell them, but I don't want to sell no bales off. I'm trying to store them. It's the whole point in having a bank account, right? It's to store your money. Well, I got a, I got a large grass account for a reason. I think I got them all. You know what? I think I'm going to have to go get the trailer. Yeah, I will. Cause, well, do I got an extra one, two? You know what? I probably have... Which one's out in the field? It's a blue man. Never mind. Never mind. Um, all my blue man crew were working, man. Let's go. I got the big green John Deere and the other thing. Uh, what is that? Um, the one with the track, man. What was? What, what the heck's the name of that one? Oh man. I can't remember the name of that tra that that tractor. It's got a track on it. It's all I know. Let's go get some bales, man. We're going to have to find a place to put them eventually. I really don't want to leave them in. I don't want to really want to put them all in there. Eh, it is what it is. Figured out. going on how you guys doing today how's this afternoon treating y'all Let's see if we can't get this. Hmm. I might be able to actually get that in there. Come on. Ah. Come on. Come on. We can't run into our field. I mean, with these tires on, we can, but I just don't. 
I don't want to. I was close. I could. I. I, mean, I possibly could have managed it. I just don't know if I wanted to try to manage it that hard. You know what I mean? See how that works? You want to straighten out right now? You just got to let it go. Just want to make sure I'm close enough, but not too awful close. You know what I mean? See how that works? That's how animal unloads a bale. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't stack three of those stacks in there. One partner did that. And that's just how I do it, fellas. So if you ain't hit that like yet, you better hit that like, because that's how I be stacking. Operating position. Let's go. I like how they just unfold, man. It's like, ready to go. Get off me backside, buddy. Oh, he's, he's trying to push me. He's not telling me to get out of the way. See that? Rude. Circle around, and then I'll get that one. Oh, no, I want to come from the other direction. I was not thinking, fellas. Okay, folks, don't, don't judge me. Harsh, anyway. By the time I turn in all these bales... I mean, I'm going to wait for them all to become silage before I even start to sell any of them like that up I'm looking at before the stream ends tonight I'm gonna sell all this off that we get from this field right here because I'm not gonna plow it right now <clears throat> we may plow it later to add to the canola but that's it but it won't be for the grass the grass part I'll actually just like for field 25 over there for that bottom section I'll honestly, I'll probably just keep mowing it out like we have been like this for right now. I don't know. This only get, I only got 31 bales so far, but yeah, at least at least this section over to square it up to even it out with that over there at the top is all going to become canola. I mean, I'm already getting 60, what would, what would we figure out, like 60-some thousand liters already of canola. So, if, by some chance of miracle, we can, you know, hit 100,000 
or even 120,000 liters of canola, I'm gonna be happy. You know what I mean? Because that'll totally fill my oil plant up over there, and I'll have all the canola oil that we'll need to produce, at least for a few minutes. Till my dude gets money hungry and wants to be like, um, that dude, that dude with the money bags, there you go, that's his name, money bags, from Monopoly. I don't know, how many, how many of these do you guys think will need to reach a million dollars in just silage? Out of curiosity. Oh man, I came the wrong way. I'm stacking this right at the end of that again. Man, lame -o. Tractor operators not listening to directions. Hence, I didn't give them the directions. Because honestly, I was honestly contemplating pulling in and then starting down at that end and unloading and then bringing it this way. And I was like, man, you know, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. My, my grandparents would tell me such and such. You ain't done yet. That thing don't go all the way to the end, bud. Oh, yeah, no, my granddad, he, every bit of room, man. You got to use it. You got to use it all. If you're not using it, there's something wrong with you. I can pull him in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shouldn't be doing this in real life, but, you know. Dun, dun, dun. People be like, oh, animal, how you stack so well? <laughs> I'm just being a smart Alex. Sorry, guys. Look at that. What? If you can if you can stack that well and you guys play this game and you have all the DLC that I have and you're looking for someone to chill and play with right here man from 12 to 6 every day guaranteed Monday through Wednesday I am on this thing live <laughs> If you can stack like that I'll work with you guys 18 and up man let's do it You can be a type of guy that wants to have fun too. That's cool. If you if you just a, uh, I'm a worker. I said I'll work with you. Let's get out of the field though. We don't want that guy getting mad at us. Do everything well. What's going on, buddy? How are you doing? That's a that's a good motto to live by, isn't it? Do everything well. That's not at least better than the next guy or the last guy, right? <laughs> No, nah, I'm doing pretty good, bud. How are you doing? We're we're having a night, man. Having well, it's not even nighttime yet. It's only four four o'clock in the afternoon. Four twenty two to be exact. So yeah, pretty much just chilling. Farming up. Uh got my got my AI helper dudes taking care of the farm over there while I'm uh taking care of this new piece of land that we bought the other day over while we were on uh the map. I bought out um, plots 20, 25 and 15 on top of the ones that we've already got. So I'm moving my grass field to a different location and 
not gonna say what cause it don't wanna get banned lol, happen to see you thought to check it out. You on? Oh, very, very cool, very cool. Uh, no, actually, I am, uh, I'm on PS5, is what I am on. Don't want to get banned, uh. You got your own channel, I take it? Big, big channel, small channel, what you got? What you got? It's all legal beagle stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody needs to take a break once in a while, man. It happens. Heck, I wake up and it's like, all right, man, I gotta get around, get ready for my stream. But then you get those days where it's like, man, I just, I don't want nice. to, you know. And it's like, but you know, there are there's there's days, you guys, where I I do, I wake up and it's like, man, I just. I really don't want to. I don't. I really don't want to do much today, man. I just kind of want to get stuff done around the house. So, you know, you know, when when you do your own thing like this, you know, as a, a streamer or whatnot, you can kind of you can kind of do that. And the only people that are gonna get mad are the ones that are just waiting to be hating. Small, hey man, I'm I'm a small channel too, bud. I feel, I feel you. For some reason, no, I, I got stuck in a limbo for a while, man. Longest time I was, well, what happened is I went from doing car stuff to gaming stuff. And I think that really, really hindered the channel, really makes it hard for my channel to get seen because of just the fact that it's not. I don't know, but it's getting fine now, man. Like it's been growing like crazy. What do you do? You get you you do gaming? What do you do? Ah, you know, don't 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 even bother to tell me, man. Save your words for something cooler, man. I'll check. What what do you do? Oh, sh Can I play with you? snap! Look at that. How many people do I got watching right now? Four people? Three people? You guys go check him out. Go over and check his channel out real quick, you guys. Go check him out. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm actually, I'm in the process of trying to look for some people that are into, uh, into the same game. For sure. <laughs> hey, you got something going on over there, don't you? Sir, you guys go give him go give the channel a check out real quick. He's got a main large farm going right now. You guys go check that out. All right, let's get let's get this in here. Thanks for the shout out, brother. Yeah, not a problem, man. Thing is, you know, is 
occasionally I'll do that for people because, you know, I mean, granted, you know, you did, you were all like, you know, not wanting to get banned or nothing. So I kind of, I kind of knew what you were hinting at. So I figured I'd go check, check channel out, see what you got going on. There are too many bales. Please sell, dude. I just, dude, I gotta sell some of my bales. No. I just, I guess I got too many on my property. I've got no choice. Let's go sell some bales. Dang it. Not what we wanted to do. He'd be happy to join and farm with you if you want. Yeah, one of these days we'll have to, man. For sure. Before I play with anybody on stream, I generally I like to try to get them in for a couple hours on a uh, like on an off stream game type thing, you know what I mean? Cuz everybody's different, man. You know what I mean? Everybody Everybody's got their own, their own quirks, their own. You know what I mean. So, I'm I'm the type of guy I like to try to see what I'm dealing with, see who I'm. You know what I mean. See who I'm working with. Because you never know. Like, some things might set some people off in a different direction than others. You know what I mean. So, I'm not that type of guy. I don't wanna. You know what I mean. <sighs> try to be mellow with everybody. You know. I hate this. I hate this trailer so much. Watch this. In order for me to get these, I gotta like bloop, run right into it. <laughs> All right, let me check this. Uh, July first, July first, July first. When's the best sell time for this? Silage. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, anybody that's subbed to the channel, if you guys have not done that, feel free to join that. There's a big, huge harvester outside my house right now. He's over hitting the cornfield up. I love watching those guys do that crap, man. Last night they were out there running the field last night next to my house. And I was just out there in awe, like... I just wanted to go for a ride along, man. I was just watching them. I was like, that's just some cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's right, the wood. Ooh, my water's getting... A water. Oh, no, that's my mushrooms. My bad. My, my water's okay. The wood's getting low. Let's see. Yeah, I got to sell some silage. And I literally went right past what I was looking for. Sorry, guys. Literally, I can hear that harvester outside, and it's... You guys ever get easily distracted? You know? I appreciate that. There it is. Silage. Oh. Best prices in... Ouch. I'm gonna have to sell. I, I got no choice. Ouch, man. Just ouch. The farm shop way over there is going to pay more. No, actually, don't. Silver Run Market pays more. And I got that put right here. Let's go. Let's go drop that off. I'm trying to build, like, a mini utopia out of the place. So that way it's like everything revolves around my guy. So not only is it a utopia, but also I'm a monopoly. You know what I mean? So, like, when somebody needs a loan, they don't go to the bank. They just go to Mr. Avery and be like, knock on my rustic little cabin door, and I just come out and be like, $100 bills at them, you know? <laughs> just throw it at them, man. Mind if I join your game right now, or? Because mine is dead, have I? Uh, no, not right now, no. Like I said, I'd prefer to play with people off stream first before I, uh, play with people on my stream. What did we make? 40,000? Hey! Keep track of that. Man, that's 40,000. 
that sucks because I honestly wanted to build up my. I wanted to build my. What do you call? It? I wanted to build it up so bad, like. I wanted to get it up there, man. I'm not gonna be able to. I was I was honestly hoping to fill this whole barn. I wanted to try to go for a million. But I think in order to have more, I think um, Godfrey. Well, because Godfrey, he's uh he's one of the other people that play, he's one of the people that plays with me. Actually, he's the only person that plays with me so far. But um tomorrow on actually you know what tomorrow. If you have nothing going on between the times of like 12 and 2 tomorrow, I will be doing a thing, you guys, for anybody that plays the game. But you gotta, ha you guys gotta have the same DLC that I've got. You guys gotta have it. Like, you know what I mean? Can't. Ooh, how am I going to do that? I'm not going to... It's not going to pull anything off this trailer, correct? Or would it? I don't know. I'm not doing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this trailer out of the way. Kind of disappointed. Kind of irritates me. It makes me want to sell all of it now. Now that I know I can't fill the barn up. That's fair. If you got Discord, here is my name hyphen, but underscore it underscore was underscore green. Uh, yeah, um, if you uh, look at the top of the channel, I should have a link there for uh, the Discord as well for any of you guys that are uh, sub to the channel. You guys can check that out as well. If you would like to help the channel, any donations are very much appreciated. Thank you, PayPal. Dot me slash Kennedy two one eight eight to donate. Come on, get it up there. Oh, you're going to be like that. I hate this trailer. This, this tandem tongue, dude. Oh, my God, I hate it. Oh, do I hate it. Now you see why I hate it? I can back anything else up. But these trailers, man. You give me this trailer. Eh. Call it a day. Grab my dude a brewski. I don't really drink in real life. I think it's gross. Come on, really? You hose bag. I'll get it. Okay, so maybe this wasn't a well thought out plan. I, I figured I'd just pull right up next to him, you know, and it'd just load right up for me, but... No, you pretty much gotta run into the dang thing with this trailer. Which, I don't understand why they would have made it like that, you know what I mean? I don't get it. I don't understand it. We gotta sell off a bunch of this though, so it's whatever. Let's just sell it off and we'll be good to go. I appreciate y'all tuning in though today so far. But yeah, like you guys, you guys heard man, if you guys are uh, sub to the channel, Join the Discord, because tomorrow I'll be uh, letting everybody know. It'll be uh, between noon and 2 tomorrow that I'll be uh, doing that for people. If you guys are curious as to why my driving don't look all janky compared to some, that's because I'm using a steering wheel. Forty one, holy Jesus. We're making money. Forty eighty. Well, it'll tell me in bales sold. Bales sold. 
be able to check that. And that'll work. I just gotta take from the opposite end because I want it all to be good. Good silage, not grass that's just been lightly warmed in the sun. That's all that other stuff is right now. Kinda hard on the steering wheel trying to use the uh, up, down, left, right. Come on. Yeah. Get on there. I'm gonna knock some over, I feel. But I knew it. I called it. I'm gonna knock some over, I said. Really? Come on. Well, came from somewhere, I guess. Oh! Oh, that's... Yeah, that's, um, hmm. Well, that's where it came from. Is what it is. Hello. What's going on, you guys? What y'all doing? Another forty-one thousand. Man, that's uh, it's pretty good. That's our. That's already a hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty-three thousand. Just in silage bales. Yeah, I'm not even done yet. Not even done. The last two stacks I really can't touch. Cause like I said, those are brand new. Those are those are fresh out the field. The last two that we stacked in there. I'll be able to start coming through the other side there in a second. See, like, the fact that other um, auto-load trailers, you don't have to be that close, like this one. That's why I'm thinking about actually uh, removing this mod and looking for a different one, where I don't have to be, like, pretty much driving over top of the bale. You get, watch... Like, watch how close you gotta be with this thing. I mean, it works, it holds. I sent you a request and joined the server in Discord. Alright, yeah, I'll, uh... Tomorrow, but I know you are two hours ahead of me. Alright. Probably almost three pence of... Alright, yeah. Yeah, if there's a way, I'll, we'll figure it out, man. For sure. Crank that off like that. Then can I go like this and just kind of back it right into it? There we go. Bloop. Just keep backing up till we're full. There we go. I do appreciate you guys all tuning in. Everybody that hit the sub button, everybody that hit the like button so far, I appreciate it. Every one of you guys, it means a lot. I tell you what, man, the day that I buy a PC and I can start playing these on PC, I'll, I'm definitely buying that steering wheel. It's got this stuff all right up on it for me. I got to use a remote and a steering wheel right now. I use the remote for this, 
for the camera angle. And the wheel for just about everything else. Minus operating the lifts and crap like that on our tools. 40000 Okay, okay, okay. Still $160,000. Easily. So far... What did I say? 160. That's what I said, right? Look at that. 163,000 so far in bales. Very nice. Very nice. That's, a medium that's awesome. PC and it runs FS just fine, but doing other stuff at the same time kind of underpowered, especially while streaming. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've got my eyes open for a PC. I'm mainly looking, I mean, I'm not really looking for a PC, honestly, for streaming. I mean, obviously, I mean, if I get a PC, I'm going to stream this game from it, because I'll be able to get the, um, we call it the, the Joy-Con stick, the, uh, the steering wheel, like, I'll be able to get everything, you know, the, th the side panel, the heavy operators, uh, kit. But uh, yeah, I, there's a lot that I'd like to buy for this, to actually play it, to really play it. Because they have they have a bundle that's made for purely operating like the cranes and whatnot in the game, stuff of that sort. Like, yeah, I'm I'm down, man. I highly recommend building one. It's a lot of fun, and you get ripped off hundreds of dollars when you buy a pre-built PC. Yeah, no, I. I'm look well right now. I'm currently looking at like a PC that I'll have to, you know. I'll, I mean, I'm gonna order it, but I'll have to. Um, I'll have to have stuff put into it that I want it to get it to where I want it to be, because it's gonna have to have a, it's, a minimum, i5 or. Ryzen 5 minimum, depending on which way I go. You dirty little cheese ball. Let's get turned around here. Let's not get too close to them. I hate this trailer, man. If I could, if they had one that was just a straight solid tongue trailer, I'd be alright with it. Hey, like, I can't voice my opinion enough on these trailers. I know every time my granddad would ask me to go pull the trailer around, I'd look at him and be like, all right. Look at my brother and my cousin and be like, you guys are coming with me. And they'd be like, what the heck you mean? And be like, you think I'm driving that thing around there? No, sir. No, I'd make him help me. We'd push that trailer. Oh, there I go. I can do that. Easily gonna get it. Right here. We got this, you guys. We got this. Oh! What? You're supposed to be going onto the trailer. No. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. That's right. Fall over. Meet your demise. Like we're some evil cartoon villain <laughs> oh how are you guys doing yeah everybody having a great night good day whatever it is for you
Whoa. And in today's news, farmer runs his goddamn pole barn into the ground. See, that's what I. That's why I hate these trailers right there. Man, once once you get messed up, you're messed up. There ain't no really. There's no real fixing this. I mean, I guess there is. If you Speaking spent like. Curious, here are my specs: around one thousand three hundred dollars USD, i five hundred and eleven thousand four hundred franc, G Force RTX three thousand and fifty. Upgrading to the 4060 T16 gigabytes soon. 850 watt Corsair Go. Oh, see, you went with the same. You went with the same setup that I'm actually looking at. <laughs> I'm actually looking at a setup that's identical to that, except, except, okay, I I made two changes to mine. Mine will be um. Mine is um, you know how you got uh, where is it? The one terabyte SSD, the one that I'm that I've got that I'm looking at, you know, that I've planned to, you know, to get ordered put in, is going to be a 2 terabyte, and it's running a 64, um, 64 gigs of, uh, RAM, and they want, they wanted, oh, the price keeps changing because of the ace, the ass, the Asus there, but it was, uh, 1299 and then it jumped to 14 something and then I just got a thing that they dropped that it dropped down to 700 on sale right now so I mean and I I'm on disability unfortunately so I don't I don't make a lot of money and generally my my monthly bills eat my money right up so then I'm left you know stuck kinda left with uh, pennies on the dollar at the end of the month so yeah, I'm trying to save up for it right now because, like I said, the one that I, I'm Corsair Vengeance DDR5 3200 hertz 32 nice. gigabytes of RAM. I'm looking to um be able to operate a small. What do you call those? Those um little 3D printer. I want to be able to operate a little mini 3D printer. You know, just a little itty bitty thing. Cause I want to, cause I also play um, dinosaur game called Ark, and I'd like to make my own little dinosaur printouts, you know, like my own little printouts with my channel name at the bottom and like a dinos, one of the dinosaurs that I like to ride a lot in game or something on it, you know what I mean? Like something like that, that you know, limited edition stuff that would only cost like people a couple bucks to buy if they wanted to buy one, you know, like a little type deal for the channel, you know? Nice. It's it's just something that I want to... I want to make sure... Because after I hit a thousand subscribers, that's kind of what I want to do is... Like, really open it up and just... Go crazy with it. I mean, I'm already streaming crazy hours. Trying to make sure to get out there, you know? To get people that wouldn't normally see me to see me. You know what I mean? I've been doing I've been doing nighttime streams so much because the wife is a a third shifter, so I just you know stick with her schedule. But I'm getting I'm getting to that point where it's like where I don't I don't mind staying up all night. I can I can handle staying up all night, but I like to wake up early enough in the day to try to try to get my running on the road done if I need to, you know. So I figure if I'm up early enough in the day, I can stream. I'm gonna stream. Like yesterday, I woke up and I started my stream at like 9:30, 10 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Yesterday, 
happens, you know. And then today I woke up and it was just like, I just wanted to pl go back and beat the boss on RoboCop again, you know. So I went on, beat him one more time this morning before jumping over and starting my stream on this today. <laughs> it's like, being on disability, it's like, you got time to do just about anything, you know. The only thing is, is, when you got all that free time, you just got to find a time to make it yourself, you know? Unload, what are we getting, what are we getting? 40,000, okay, so that's what, 160, 180, about 184,000. Perfect, that's working out. I mean, it's already 184,000. I did originally say that I wanted to get 200,000 out of it. You know, that's what I said the other day on stream, is that I'd like to be able to, you know, get 200,000. I think I even said it today, that I'd like to get 200,000 out of a load, out of, you know, a one haul, even though I did increase it to what would it be like to get a million. But, I mean, I'm already at 180, almost 184,000, so I can possibly say I've come close enough to my two hundred thousand dollar mark because like I, said, I don't want to I don't want to sell the ones that haven't haven't had time to silage out which are those two right at the very end there on the left and the stuff that's on the trailer right now my main large farm I got 87 million nice It's a lot. Come on, touch it, dude. Just go on the trailer. <laughs> Sorry, seventy eight million, my brain. Hey, that's, look at me. I'm only at eight hundred and I've only got eight hundred thousand. Well, I mean, to be fair, if you if you go and watch the stream the other day. I was, I was up to one million two hundred thousand something, and then I decided that I wanted to put in some olives, and then I spent six six hundred and seventy six hundred and eighty some thousand, almost seven hundred thousand, putting in olives. So now I got like sixteen, seventeen some rows of olives that will have to get harvested in October. Which I personally can't wait. I would love to visit a real olive uh, farm or a field just just to pick a wild olive just to see what they taste like. Like, I'm curious. One doesn't have it. Nice. Yeah, I know the feeling, lol. My main large farm, I got 87 million. Sorry, 78 million, my brain. Go on there, dude. Why did it... Li it literally just read that all off again. Why would it do that? No, you're pinching. You're pinching. I noticed that. I don't know why it does that. Like, I've even went and... Because I use Nightbot to read it off for me. Because it's just... Because I got... I got... You've, you guys have heard me say that, I've, uh, that I'm have that i on disability. Well, oh, no wonder. Um, I've got... Uh, I've got uh, nerve damage in my neck. So, yeah. I have it reading it off for me. It just, you know... Just makes it easier for me. So that way I'm not turning my head every... Every few seconds to look at your guys' um, comments. Ouchie. Yeah, my arms go numb a lot. So, like I was saying earlier, this, this game is perfect for someone like me. Because I'm a gamer. I've been a gamer since I was a kid, man. 
since the 80s. So this game allows me to still be able to game and not have to worry about like when my hands go numb, like right now. They're, you know, there's, I got my left arm starting to go numb a little bit. I can just sit here and I can shake it off and and rub it out and you know try to massage it out a little bit while I'm sitting here waiting, you know, trying to get the feeling back. Oh yeah. I hate it. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Ah, uh, forty. Big four zero. I don't know if I sound it, but I'm forty. Man, I just I don't want to get those last couple oh, bales, yes. man. In twenty. I have a feeling like I'm, I'm gonna end up hitting them. I don't want to get them. I honestly thought you were twenty or thirty. I get that from people. See if I can tweak it. Come on. Spin just a little bit, bud. That's all I was trying to do, man. Trying to get it to spin to get him to go on there. to help the channel any donations are very much appreciated thank you paypal dot me slash kennedy two one i mean it's its final load just get on there man no you don't dang it yeah you do yeah, you are. No, I'm not taking a chance. It's like, God dang it, man. Sorry, little sunflowers. I got acres of you, so I'm not really worried about it. Be all right. One bale, man. That's all I need. Are you serious? God dang, dude. Like, I hate this trailer. I can't, I can't say it enough, man. I hate these tandem trailers. Hate him, hate him, hate him. Go ahead. Angle just right. You douche. Come on. One. It's just one. Like, that's all. I just want one bail on here, man. Give me one. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the stream. No. Mm. Well, I got my, I got it on there. By the looks of it, maybe a couple more. Probably got stuck in there. Oh yeah, I got an extra one all aboard. Probably gonna lose it. It's stuck in there. Hey, if it stays, it stays. You know what I mean? We're not going to worry about it. 
brother in Odo listen to some loud music project. 100 watt system in my room. Three of them fell on it. I'm gonna go do a workout. Very nice. All right, bud, you have yourself a good one, man. You have yourself a good one, bud. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll message you through Discord, man. For sure. I'll post a thing tomorrow on my Discord. Everybody will be able to check it out. You guys are all on the Discord and all that jazz. Let everybody know when I'm doing one now. What's up? 45,000 that time. That's over That's over 200,000, you guys. That's money in the bank. $931,000, man. Give me just a second here, you guys. We're going to go... I'm going to go see exactly what it gave me. For cash flow. I mean, we're at 931000 I mean, what more do we got to say there? Other than that's money... I am not parking this super close. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to try to grab them three that fell because that just looks gaudy. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. You know what? I'm gonna park it right here. I'll worry about it later. Oh, what is? Oh, my semi's right there. Come down here. I gotta, I gotta straighten this out because this is actually wide enough for a truck to go this way and a and a truck to go the opposite direction. I just got to straighten them out. That way it looks a little better. Blocked by an object? Man, y'all best not be blocking him down there. He's got to do his job. He's charging me by the hour. It don't matter. He's a little, he's like a Sour Patch Kid. He don't care. He take my money. Farm hands like the ex-wife, they don't give two shits less. They're taking your out. Oh, two craps less. Sorry about that. They're taking your money. I didn't mean to say that. I'm trying not to swear, you guys. And if I had a quarter for every time I swore, I'd be, I'd probably be about five dollars richer. I'm doing my best, though, you guys. I've been doing pretty good at trying to keep away from swearing so much. Try not to cuss, swear, whatever you want to call it. I do pretty good, man. I do pretty good. I found wood and all that jazz. Heck yeah, he's got that going on. We got to get some water put in here. Because once he's done with that, like I said, I mean, I'm going to be able to speed up until, well, until next month because then I got to plant it all. But the upside is I've got two planters for canola. So, ouch. That hurt. Done slam that a little too hard. <sighs> but yeah, like I was saying, August we're going to have to replant canola. I've got two planters, possibly even three that plant canola. Two of the three at the least that I know of for sure. Plant it. So that'll make it easy for me. The only thing is, is one, one plants it. I'm going to use the one that has the rake with it. That way, while the AI is putting it down and rake and planting it, he's also raking all the weeds out for me. Which saves me a step of sending another one behind with a weeder to do it. Because my weeder is also a cedar.
I just like how that sounds together. My cedar's a weeder. See, by the time this thing starts to fill, and by the time it's done, I could I could easily run out of the room, go grab something to drink, and come back. So the apple trees, man, the apple trees. Look at this bird. He's sneaking up on the. Sneaking up on me here at the left. Look at this little dude climbing around down here at the bottom left. This is the only thing I don't like about this, that I got to actually get out to open it. I mean, that's real, I guess. But what would be real is, oh, look, I'm full. I should probably get out and turn it off. You know, that would be real. I'd be all right with that. So what time is it for everybody? Let's get on something we all know about. Time. My dude fell asleep in the cab. I think he's snoring. You guys hear that? <laughs> no, that's that's him for you, dude. I didn't want to read it, man. But I wanted to read about what our so-called Leaders doing. Oh, I'll ask you. I'll ask Google. I hate that. I hate these little news articles about that stuff. Like, I don't want to know what he's doing. Like, I don't want to know if he's falling off his bike or stumbling upstairs. I don't care. I stay away from politics, man. It's just bad. It was a nasty taste. Not like that. There's the save I've been looking for. Low on wood, that's what I thought. I got a bunch of, well not a bunch, I got three tiny little trees I cut down up by our farm because they were kind of right there. But I'm not really worried about that as much as I am getting in here and... Right there, he's gonna be a big one. These two or three in here are going to be big ones. See, told you. 35. Just got to look at the height, man. Look at the height. Timber. That's how you fell a tree.
You know, if you think about it, this chainsaw here, this steel they got you using, that I'm using, I chose steel because, you know, steels are awesome. They're not, they're not light. I remember when I first started working with the, with the, uh, with the tree crew, the guy that I was working for, he asked me, he goes, so what, what, what size steel would you like? And I was like, what do you mean, man? Just, you know, steel's a steel, you know, like, you know, not thinking nothing of it. They're like, all right, not a problem. So my first day on the job, I show up, right? He brings in, he brings in two different steel. I, he's like, here you go, here's the steel for you. And he brings this thing out and the bar on the front of it was almost four and a half foot long. I looked at him and I said, shit, son, what am I cutting? He said, well, you told me you just, any any steel would do. I was like, dude, I'm not using something that big. I was like, that's three quarters of the length of my body. I ain't, I can't carry that. <laughs> I was like, Mind you, my, you know, I'm, I'm not a big guy, you know, my, you know, I mean, I, I can lift, but I, I'm not lifting like that, like. That's something the Incredible Hulk uses, you know. So he's like, oh, you know. So then he hands me the smaller one with like a, a foot and a half, two foot bar on the front. I'm like, that's better, dude. Like, who are you trying to kill, man? It was just like, no way. But I'm glad I took the smaller one, honestly. Because now that big one, I wouldn't have made it a day. I probably would have made it half a day and I would have been asking for him to bring the other saw to me. But no, I'm glad because I actually ran behind vehicles for a while cutting trees. So, they were what you called the ground pounder. I started out behind the, the big vehicle that would cut, cut the uh, branches and stuff off in the power lines to eventually running that thing for a little bit. Actually, what they hired me to do was to operate it, to train me how to run it and all that jazz, because my one cousin was quitting, going to get another job or whatever. Went and got the other job. About a month and a half later, I was in, you know, they trained me on it. They had me doing it. I was, I was into it about a month, month and a half. My cousin decided he wanted to come back to work. So you know what they did? They kicked, they kicked me out of it. And that's when they was like, no, you're going back to ground pound. I looked at them and said, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm going for another job. They said, what? I was like, you hired me on to operate this equipment, and now you're kicking me out and going to put me back on the ground with a chainsaw because my cousin decided to come back because he didn't like his other job? I was like, not happening. I quit. <laughs> I, I did. I quit. I was like, get somebody else to come do this shit for you. Like, I didn't do it for a year for nothing. Like, nope. They made me a ground. They made me ground pound for almost a full year before my cousin decided he was actually quitting and going to take the job. And I have no. And then he quit, went, took the other job, didn't like it, and within a month, month and a half, comes back and takes the job back. I was like, yeah, nope. I mean, mind you, they were paying me decent to to do the job, but that's not what you know. That wasn't my. That wasn't what I was hired for, man. I was a heavy equipment operator. Oh crap. Had to hit that there button. Oh my god. Chainsaw, thank you. <laughs> That's, I hate that crap. I'm actually cutting out. I should be cutting that way. Yeah, we're getting closer to the we're getting closer to the field, so it's not a it's not a big deal because, like I said, like I can I'll just I'll I'll eventually I'll expand. That's I mean that's the overall thing, you know. We got to expand. Got to expand. Just like the channel needs to expand. So if you guys haven't done it yet, hit that sub button. Grab the link. Go share it with everybody you can think. Tom's gonna hit the like.
Wrong way, dude. My fault. This is why I always put the and more in my stuff, because I never know what's going to happen in, in these streams. In real life, I would have been dead. I was getting ready to run in there for it. Ah, take the leaves, uh, branches off. Who cares? Hey, no, no, you it don't work that way. Newton's laws state otherwise. You need to fall. I cut you on an angle. Who does he think he is? Built like a rock? That one fell. Oh, my. No. Perfect. Worked. I'm going to have to come through here with my stump grinder and take all these out. I got so much... I got so many stumps to grind, but eventually we're just going to plant more trees in here for part of it. I'm a farmer, man. I'm not, I'm not wanting to work in trees. Tree work though, man. I mean, it pays good. Keeps my dude. Okay, wait a minute. 1.6, 3.9. For some reason, I think I could spin that around and put it in a rhyme and do something with it. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like that, good sir. There you go. Reel it in, Sonny. Uh, that looks a looks a little wonky, but we got it. Actually, I'm pulling that surprisingly well. They do need to give us uh, a bigger tow capacity because I feel like I could tow couple more trees hooked to this and it would work just great so you guys hey if you guys out there are watching and you by chance play Fortnite I know you some of you guys are like oh, that that word but no if you guys play Fortnite um we do Friday night Fortnite where we play with subscribers young old if you're full of mold, it don't matter. We got you. If you play, we're here. You know what I mean? It's a good place to chill. Oh, I didn't even see how much wood that took, gave me. All together. But we're up to 42,000, I think it said. So we're good. We're good for a little bit longer. We can, uh... He's done. Let's fold him up. What else was I doing? I forgot I was doing the hay too, so. Yeah. Eventually we're going to get all those trees done though. You can already kind of see the the missing trees in the tops from here but yeah that's I'm gonna end up just slamming them sunflowers all the way to the left too we're gonna leave some for a, a spot for trees probably a probably gonna end up dedicating probably the left right side of the map somewhere 
and just grow nothing but big trees. Move all my tree stuff over to the right side of the main map. Like, I'm thinking, like, maybe over here, buy up these four right here, and then buy this one and stick it right here in the corner, and plant it all with trees. That way we got all that. We'll have, we'll have tons of trees. You know what I mean? We'll have all the wood we'll ever need. We'll have one, two, three, four areas that we're going to be able to just fill it right up. Like Godfrey doing, they won't, won't even be able to get through there. <laughs> Let alone knock the tree down. He plants them super close, though. I think that's pretty neat, though, too, though. You know what I mean? He gets them in there. They're there. Okay, see, so I gotta do that little itty bitty spider lime. Okay, let's. Where's my lime tree? Okay. Let's get our lime. I've contemplated just, um, growing without liming and then letting the rest of it catch up. What do you guys think of that? I mean, I'm not too sure about it, but, eh, you know, would it work? I mean, because in reality, like, I want it all to be at the same time. You know? Like, I want it all at the same time. And I don't know how much longer it's going to be before it's going to actually be needed. And my dog out there going crazy. See, the whole thing's mulched, I guess. Let's just, I guess, I'll just spray it. <clears throat> I'd like to just let it go and then spray it, like I said, spray it all at once. My only thing is going to be is I'm going to go and I'm going to have it sprayed, right? And then the next harvest, the rest of it's going to need done. Man. I mean, that's just a little tiny piece, really. Well, all that's going to do is affect my overall yield, right? My yield rate, that's it. No, I'm not doing that. I just got to get in the right spot because I don't want them to uh, be spraying it and it not be needing it. AIs like to do that crap. Like, I'm going to spray it right here. And it's going to... Hmm, let him go. He's going to charge me for it. I know he will. My problem is i got to keep an eye on that because I don't want him to go too far. I'm not paying him. I'm not paying him extra money to do stuff that don't need to be done. You know what I mean? Oh, this is Worker J. He just likes to pay. He don't like to do nothing. Man, why'd they why'd they send him back to my 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 uh, farm? I told him he's lazy. Not worth the pay. Oh no 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 no. That 
that's all owner animals problem right there Let's get off that right here I look at that I did make a nice octagon style shape didn't I look at that hmm not too shabby appreciate you guys all tuning in today hopefully you're all having a great afternoon I'm praying he's going to do this the right way for me. I need to go get me something to drink. Yeah, see, those trees are going to have to come down. Well, see, I'm trying to... Well, okay, that beehive needs to move over here onto the side, right? It needs to move... I, man, I wish I... This is where I wish I had a mouse... And keyboards. The only reason, because then I could use it like a little, you know, move the little mouse over to show you where I'm talking about. But, like, I want to put a beehive right there on the corner and then get rid of that one. So that way I can run them north and south. You know what I mean? Because, like, right now I'm running, as far as I'm concerned, I'm running probably east and west right now. Where I should be running like this, the long way. That way I'm covering more in the length district. Because, you know, every every minute, you know, if you can save a minute, you can earn a minute somewhere else and make it, you know. <clears throat> make it worth your time, you know, you know, make it worth the while. This guy, let's see what he does. Mm, yeah, yep, 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 Go, keep going. Ooh, he might... He might have something here. He might he might be the smart one. Which one is this one? I can't see the letter. Is that U or a D? G. Wow, it's a G. That's a guy. That's a that's a Gregory. That's a George. That's a. Guile, it's, I mean, I don't know. A bunch of different names to start with G. We can keep going. But he seems to have the gist of what I'm wanting him to do. I'll be back in a couple minutes, you guys. I'm going to go grab something to drink. So I'll be back in like three, four minutes. So you know what to do. Grab yourself something to drink. Go share it with a friend. Do something. Back in a minute.
See, that's what I was afraid of. He wouldn't stop. God dang him. Well, he charged me a little too much. All right. So I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call it good, I guess. And then I'll be back on later, you guys, um, to do my nighttime stream for a few hours, roughly about eight o'clock, eight thirty ish. Nine o'clock, give or take, something around there. And we will get all this put in, we'll get all our sunflower done. And all that other good fun stuff that we were in the process of doing. I got some stuff I got to go take care of. I got a dog that's not so bright. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. A dog that's not so bright. But with that being said, you guys, like I said, I'll be back on about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Today is my last day for streaming for the day. So between 8.30, yeah, between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, maybe... Maybe a little later than that, who knows? But I'll be back on and we'll we'll jam out and we'll uh try to get our crops done because man I wanna do these olives. But with that being said, you guys, y'all have a great one. Stay safe, peace out, and we'll catch you guys all in the next one.